time to, you know, schmooze. <laughs>
Must be the best farm sim player ever. Was that? There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, right, actually. So on mine, so you've no. already done the audio check for me, Malk, on mine. Have I? Yeah. Right, okay. On yours, I'm not sure. Uh, well, end, I, I was muted very briefly at the start, so all that stuff we were talking about, me being a legend and that, no one got to hear. So. Oh, legend? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Legend, yeah. So. Right, um, the Discord audio seems a little bit low on yours, but apart what? from that, it seems okay from that side. Mine's a bit low. I can turn so, it up a little bit. There we go. I've turned it up. So, uh, welcome back, everybody, to competition. We are back again. So, we've got a bit of a short staff this evening. We've only got Pugsley and Alan. Only? But, oh, um, we've only oh. got them. <laughs> I meant numbers, guys. I wasn't saying yeah. you're not the most um, reliable workers, because you are. And Pugsley, you have to be, because if you want to come around to your house and just live stream from your house instead. Fair enough. That could be comical. Um, oh. So we're back on here. So we've, we have actually skipped through to March yeah. this time because we, at the end of the last episode, into February, we went back through. We haven't really got any contracts to do apart from ploughing, so we thought we'd just move on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so, oh, you're gonna he's gone. He's gone. Job. Right, Alan, let's go. I'm gone. I'm getting the farm. started. Oh. Get started. Go, 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 go. Right. Where do you need me, boss? Do you want me to uh, stop the subsoil? Uh, well, I was I was thinking that's the most boring job in the world. So really, I'll probably just put it's a what? worker on that. So if you want this field up here, it's a fertilizing contract. Uh, where's it start? All this lined area it? up here. This oh, needs this needs to be grass. So if you wanted to pick up the cedar and you lay in some, some grass, you could do sewing. that. Yeah, sure. Drilling. Okay. Which um, contract would you want? And to I'm going to gonna start picking up some contracts, contracts and we'll get there. those kicked off. But I just want to check the productions, uh, make sure I've got plenty of water in my greenhouse. Not, and uh, not using ours, though. I no? have got okay. some bread. Oh, I need that tractor. Uh, let's go and visit Subsoiling. the bakery. No See problem. what's happening. Should I pick a contract, then? Yeah, if you pick a contract, you should have the right access, I think, mate. So oh, look at all this nice little bread here. Right. Sorry, what was it you wanted me to seed? Uh, just grass. You, you know, in the little... Um, I'll come over. So, over here, all this here, sort of up to the boundary where I've marked, marked in and got the subsoiler. Um, let me just have a quick look in the store, see if there's any... Oh, all, all, all a bit to, to the left of the other side of the Yeah, so basically all... Ooh, ooh, rubber banding. Um, all this around here, up to like the end of the farmyard, just make this a big grass field, if you can, please. Yep. Right, do, so do, do this cedar here do grass? Um, that's oh, a good question. Very nice. I assumed it did. Have you hired a. You, oh, you got contract, obviously, nice one, buddy. Thank you. Indeed. So, yeah, if you want to crack on with that, I'm going to go and get the subsoil type on first off. Yeah, the cow will be good. That's excellent. Back into our. Um, right. I'll go and find um, us some contracts to do, I think. Oh, we're already there. Uh, what do we want to do? We have got Indeed. a fertilising hmm. contract, so I'm going to grab Bonus. that. Yeah, you have, you buggers. I've only got one. I know. It's all right. Uh, Don't worry. I'm just joking. Uh, and then sowing. Oh, should we take the cat? Is it a cat? Um, it's a planter. Sowing cotton. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, sunflowers. So we've got a couple of people in chat already so we've got peter on my side evening peter how are you sir how are you and also james hudson hello james how you doing buddy nice of you both to join us and obviously uh, i think we've probably got bubble fish over on mount channel because yeah. we always have yeah good old bubble fish welcome this evening sir reliable um, bubble fish, as we like to call oh, it yes. oh i may have just flipped the tractor over was that on course play <laughs> Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. 
We really need to edit this. Well, you really need to edit this map. So this is ridiculous. I don't know if I can even hitch up to uh, this. Turn on super strength, mate. Oh, it's all right. I've got it. I managed to squeeze in. Fortunately, I've got a, um, a challenger. So Ooh. on track, so we, I can pretty much zero a few turn. Helping this evening. Um, yeah. Peters, we've got uh, we've got Pugsley and Alan. So not too many, but we've got uh, good. Oh, oh, I'm out of space on the apes. Okay, that's not good. Sugar beet is cooking. Sugar beet cook is cooking. Right, let's put some more in here. Oh dear. I need to move the oats then, I think, out of the way. Fire anyway. And I need to set the course bay worker off in a minute on that field. I'm going to set the course bay worker off subsoil and see how long it's going to take. So this through. contract was where? Uh, which field was it in? 37. Which is this big long one here. That's easy. That's nice to do. Hello, Mark Cotty. How you doing, buddy? Nice of you to join us, matey, as always. Yeah, so I had a look. There is um, a Valtra Valmet in there, which hmm, I can't afford it. But uh, not bad. There's not a bad tractor, that, actually. Oh, uh, it's, it's got a bad fair tractor. bit of power. I do need another tractor. That's got to be a bit of a priority soon. But I also need a new another field. So hmm, we'll see. There we go. Good, good. Right, I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm going to load up some more sugar beet into the cutter. How are you getting on, Pugsley? All good? Well, I definitely didn't just lower my weight instead of the cedar to try and <laughs> start getting them in the ground. That would be embarrassing for somebody that is um, quite au fait with seed drills now. Are you sure? <coughs> Right, let's lower this down. Who, oh, who do you, who do you work for? Pottinger, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah useless. Yeah. Can't, the employees can't even Absolutely. can't even operate their own equipment. <laughs> so I do have a little bit of news for everybody, actually. Um, so, um, I'm sure Red Dog won't mind me saying this. Fen Edge mm. is all set to be released next week. Oh, oh. So that's okay. It is... Uh, some more changes have happened uh, again, but it is scheduled to be released. I do know that the itch.io page is ready and rocking to go. There will be a video announcement for it next week when it gets released. Um, just for people to work out how to download it off itch.io, etc. if they haven't done it before. Um, and then all the... I think the main two sheds are already available on Modhub and the open sheds which giants are being awkward about is going to be on it trio as well. Brilliant. So Screw everything you, should be ready to rock and rumble next week and then I'll be popping out a video also about the pick your starting farm. Which is well. a which is a really really good idea. I really like that idea. That was so, Mr. Cotty, yeah, Mark, that was uh, Red Dog's idea. He was thinking yeah. about releasing it on Friday. Um, and I went, uh, but I thought we were doing a video announcement when we were going to release it. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I was like, yeah, okay. So, but hopefully it should be out ready for the long weekend for everybody to enjoy. Um, I believe as well that if there's any bugs or anything that people find, they need to report it on the bug page on itch.io. What Red Dog was saying. Does Red Dog mod did not day. have a, a website? Not at the moment. Hmm. So, um, can I ask if um, the little collectibles are going to be in it? I believe they are. That is still going to be in it. So, Brilliant. that should be good. So. I will say that if anybody is new to the live stream on either side, please feel free to like no, no. the streams. S smash, by, smash the like button. By smashing, no. wait, by smashing the like button. That's right. That's the one. Because um, it is massively appreciated by uh, yeah. by all of us, by me and Malk, etc. So that would be is, really yeah. nice. 
So I just, uh, yeah, so Bubble Fish is saying I should buy a field instead of another tractor, which I kind of agree with, but I think a field might be more expensive than a tractor, so uh, we'll have to see just uh, yet. Ish. Depends on Some the field. Of them them on. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, I'm get... oh whoa, okay. Yeah, okay, that, that did go well, didn't it? Did you. You backed yeah. it off the road then, did you? Yeah, a little bit. That's what I was saying earlier. I may have, I may have armed your course play worker. What? Why would you do such a thing, you nasty man? Um, because I've got dual wheels and a very wide cedar. Um, I see. That, that bridge is narrow when you're not. It, yeah. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> right. Fuel cost in. Right. Let's buy a subsoil then. Let's get subsoil in. And also, if anybody's watching and they haven't caught Mine and Malk's um, Corpy uh, survival series that we're doing together, then I would highly recommend it. It's going well. It's good fun. Um, it is, uh, yeah. Um, we're definitely having fun please. doing that, and I'm definitely having please fun with some of the out. edits. <laughs> yep, thanks for that. No problem. Well, you know, we just we've got to keep it real. We've got to point out all the highs and the lows, you know. So. Okay, I believe you. I, I believe you're honest. Yeah. So if I get to edit mode, where is the sucking where Red Dog's put this? He hasn't put an end on that. Are you getting on, Alan? Yeah, what? Good. Let's drive that back myself. I'll That's I'll probably need that. to buy a roller for that as well. So. Um. Oh dear! Right. So once it's once it's done, we'll get it rolled, and then. Yeah. Okay. We start printing money. Start yeah, printing they are bubble money. fish. <laughs> start bailing up money, I should say. I'll tell you what this. Solitaire covers a lot of ground, doesn't it? Solitaire drill's a good drill, that is. It's a very good drill, actually, I must admit. I do like it. It's uh, I've used it on quite a few series, I must admit. And can I just say, but, uh, the best Bond girl ever. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. Yeah, probably. Do we think, though... So, mm, I'm going to go back to Farming Simulator now. Me and oh. Mark have found this recently and we think it's happening with quite a few of the content providers anybody else think that the farming simulator franchise at this moment in time is kind of dead on its feet a little bit it's yeah we, we think it's slowing down i've had quite a few content creators come to me and say they say the same thing but i think giants really need to get their acting gear yeah, yes giants for the next version the problem what I mean? is though it can't wait till next year can it you would have thought they'd put out an announcement by now I, I I must yeah, admit I I'd have thought so. I'd have thought something would have been out by now. Seems a bit strange to me. Why there isn't anything out yet? I mean, the only the only other thing is wait for April to come, and if there's nothing in April, I think we can pretty much say it's not happening this year. Mm. Kill the franchise, though. I think. Well, I just think so. Um, One of those other updates was for logging simulator, so. Who knows what the next DLC could be? Yeah, Mark Cotty's. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair point, Pugsy. I mean, Mark Cotty's just said, I wondered uh, whether they'd be putting an announcement out packs, but it doesn't seem like it, does it? Um, I don't know, it just seems a bit strange to me. Mm. I think. That's a big ass field. I think we've had enough. DLC add-ons for this version of the game. Some people haven't even got all the DLC add-ons. Some people have got all the DLC add-ons just all on different platforms. <laughs> That's... Yeah, it's, a fa it's, a fa it's, a it's a fair point. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, okay. That is what you call a schoolboy error. <laughs> yes. How, how are they not transferable? I know. It's, it's console, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, criminal. But, uh, 
Yeah, but you've paid for it, haven't you? It's it's like... Because obviously you can either buy it through the giant store, or you can buy it through Steam, or you can buy it Epic through CD keys, which is then on <laughs> Steam. Yeah. But if it's on the PlayStation Network, we know how finicky PlayStation are. You can put any brand you want into the game, really, apart from it can't be on console. So you have to go and do it on hmm. Lizard brand, don't you? I was once so, violated Lizard. It's just... <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> Grind again. Damn. No. Sorry. Okay. Right, well, I've set that... You know that subsoil in jobs on that field? It's been set off. Mm-hmm. James Hudson, where is PC Player Mount from? Where are you from, PC Player Mount? James Hudson's asking. Uh, so, I'm assuming you're in the UK, so you'll know where the Lake District is in Cumbria. So, that area, very close to it. Like nowhere near me. No. Nowhere near Berlin. <laughs> Not near Berlin. Probably Fish doesn't even have FS22. I didn't think. I didn't realise oh. that. What, what are you playing, Bubblefish? But you know so much about it. I mean... It's not really changed we much are Your Bubble advice has been absolutely amazing. We are Bubblefish's window into FS22. Who knew? That's why he's... Mm. So our, our bad live streams and our bad videos is the reason he hasn't bought it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good for being Giants partners in future, is it? No. No, not really. We just put people off from buying the game. Ah, they, they, as long as you've got, as long as you've got the subs, they'll give it to anyone. Yeah, well, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need. That's all you need. Just the subs, and you're in. And isn't it mad? Do you think like the biggest content I would have said for FS is through YouTube, and yet that counts oh, yeah. for the least amount of points towards your partnership? Yeah, because they've got loads of people, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Bubblefish says his PC is ten year old and doesn't have a video card. <laughs> I just got an onboard one. Yeah. Fair enough. No. That kind of makes sense. I don't actually know what the spec is to run on. Uh... Uh, basic is like a twenty two hundred series Nvidia, isn't it? I five. Is it? But it's, I think it's eight gig of RAM. Right. Okay. I think. Jeez, I'm going to run out of seed at this rate. I kind of didn't buy it for that. I kind of, um, I kind of spec my PC to more play Call of Duty and Fortnite for a while. I literally just spec mine by what I could afford. I didn't have um, any kind of. There weren't any rumours of an extra fiscal round, but I think that was received. To be fair, oh, I expect a... mine for Hotbox C drawings and then realised <laughs> it could FS22 as well. No, oh, well. It's a fair you? shout that Mark Chance with you. Mark Cotty has said. Um, if there weren't any rumours of the next FS game, I wonder if content creators would still feel see the same FS22 slowdown. You're probably right, because people will start playing. I mean, I don't think Giants are helping themselves with a the slowdown on the mod releases, personally, because the mod hub is just absolutely atrocious. Bear in mind, middle of last year, you were mod release every day, near on. Right. And some days I was scrambling to get mod to map tours out in time, because it was a map, map every day, nearly. So I yeah. remember my I think the most I've ever put out in a week is like twelve twelve videos Jeez. a week. Oh my god. So I don't know why they've said they've hired more QA staff and then suddenly they still can't get uh, anybody or any mods out. I mean we've had we've had mod one mod drop this week, haven't we? They must be working on other things. That's what I mean. You'd I have think to they've think, put wouldn't a bigger you? QA team in for that reason. Mm, to actually yeah. put um, more uh, more people in for just doing the next version of FS or a DLC. Do they need to bring in more people for a DLC? I mean, it's going to have to be a hell of a DLC, isn't it? 
They've still got tested, haven't they? All the models. Test on all the maps. They've got more maps now as well. They've got Zavonka, they've got well, the Porsche map. Porsche aggravation. And it all all depends. I mean, if it's like a... The Porsche like Iron Klaus Man. Is saying in, a, <laughs> in a previous live stream, if he thinks it's probably going to be a Femp pack, then they probably got quite a few bits coming out ready for Farmcon, yeah. but Fent are probably being finicky to make sure it's perfect because Fent are German. Yeah. So, you know. We know what they're like. No fun here. So, <laughs> Bubblefish is saying that his PC can't handle YouTube 1080 60 frames a second. And if he clicks on the emoji oh, button he's in chat, his PC will freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel, I, I'm actually starting to feel a bit sorry for Bubblefish yeah. right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, crikey. Should we do a, uh, a campaign for him? Yeah, we'll do it. Go, go fund. Go fund Bubblefish. A, a go fund Bubblefish page. Mm. Pushed by PC Player Malk and Grain Man. It's alright though, Malk's made some money this week, so he's fine. He's happy. Yeah. He's won the lotto at work. Has he? Yeah. Whole three pound sixty. One thousand pound. Oh, very nice. That's well, there is like there is eleven there is eleven thousand people work there. It's not like it's not like a small company, but you know. Yeah. Oh, it's not one thousand pounds split between eleven thousand people. No, no, it all went it all went to me. Every single ah. bit went to me. I'm not sure how good my maths would be at that point. <laughs> You are struggling to get much more than 90p there. Alright, sad act. No, 9p. I forgot to carry the one. Oh, he's failed. Well, oh, I think I might have only got all my sugar beet here. Crikey. Oh, hey, oh, my driving's kicking in. Doing well already. And it's on here already. It's Saturday night. Oh, um. Do you want the game time kicking up or are you playing it? Oh, oh good shout. Just put it very out. Ob very observant of you. Go. Thank you very much, Pugsy. You are very welcome. Amazing of you, sir. Pointing out and your feelings. Amazing. It's a great pleasure, isn't it? Small observation. Your flower is full to the brim, GM. Yes, I know, I need to... So what I'm doing, just give me a sec, I'm trying to get all the sugar beet into the sugar beet cutter. Right. right. Uh, and then I'm going back here. And I can just take the tractor in again, just just oh, make, make the trailer. We and put, then I can bring this back. We put that mod in, didn't we, for sugar beet cutting? Yeah, because I've been using it for the last two games. Yeah. I forgot about that. Very, very good. Hmm. Um, has anybody used the head tracking? Um, I part of USB add-on for this. I saw. Is that what did FSG do a video on it? Well, I think I think quite a lot of the big YouTubers have got it. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, it, I, what? I don't. I don't understand what? what the point in it is. Well, I think it worked quite well because where you move, you know, like if you're driving, yeah, and normally if you want to move the camera, mm -hmm. you'd have to then obviously use an analog stick or do something or have the steering wheel with the analog stick to move the camera around. If you've got head tracking, it tracks where, you, where your eyes are, so it moves the camera for you. Right, okay. And you can look behind Sounds you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I believe so. I don't really know how it works. Yes, I haven't yes, really looked into it. Yeah. Is it going to oh, be... Okay, is it something no, that... It's very tricky. It tracks your eyes rather than your head, so you kind of have to look sideways with your eyes looking at three minutes. I, I, I've seen someone playing it on, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, you can look behind you, but it's right. it's a bit tricky. Can we not just go and tap up Elon for some neural links? Have you seen that? Have you seen that? The guy who the first neural link patient. Have you have you seen yeah, that video? I just think that's just a bit scary. Yeah, but right. So this guy, he was in a, he was in an accident, and he's basically paralysed from the neck down. So he's in a wheelchair, right. and he uses like a um, a mouth stick to move a cursor around on the keyboard on the on the computer. Well, now he just has to think. Where he wants the cursor to go, and the cursor moves there. It's insane. Wow. Yeah, it's absolutely. That is pretty cool. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I I could not believe how well it worked. I, I still so, don't understand how it works. 
Well, they, they put a chip, put a chip, to, they put a chip in his brain, haven't they? Yeah. So obviously that connects through to a computer system. Hopefully not through Bluetooth <laughs> though, because that'd be quite bad. Yeah, it's absolutely. It was absolutely amazing to see him. He was playing chess, and he just like he just looks. He just thinks where he wants the cursor to go, mm. and it goes there. It's it's bizarre as anything. Oh, fixed it, fixed it. So Peter said, "This is in relation to what we were talking about with the Giants testers. Could it be that Giants hired new people who they are <laughs> giving some lessons in doing the current stuff, and the people who work there?" No, getting time to make the new F FS. See, that's exactly what I think is happening, Peter. Yes. So I still think the new QA testers are doing the mod hub testing, which is why it's slower, and the seasoned QAers are doing the new FS to make sure the game comes out better. Because obviously everybody always moans about the new FS not being very good, don't they? Oh, well, there's always bugs, isn't having there? loads of bugs. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And having, especially on well. console. Don't get Pogsy started. He, no, he's no. going gonna to say the same thing. He had to wait two years before they fixed Palin on console. I'm telling you. That's no. what's coming. What I was going to say <laughs> is to be fair to Giants, and although that did really knock me off, to be fair to Giants, the whole gaming industry now do tend to release games before they're really ready. Yeah, and they agree. Yeah, so, completely agree with that, mate. They're not on their own there. But no. they also meant that I couldn't use a baler for two years because they oh, kept. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, what well, I was going to say, um, Mark Potty actually says I use eye tracking for flight sim and truck sim. Makes a huge difference. Not set up for farming simulator yet. Well, get 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 on it, Mark. Get on, get it, on it and it. review it Quick. and tell us. Mm. Well, I'll just have. To... Let us know which one it is because I'll be interested. And which one is a good one to try? Because I'll buy one and then try it. You see, my my aim is to get like is to build a sim rig for doing farming simulator. So, I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna go and buy like a a grey Fergie and dismantle the hood and everything and you know make it like that. Uh, but it'd be just I just want to have like a racing sim, a nice place to sit and um, have everything laid out, and then I can just do everything from there so I think eye tracking in that environment would probably be a lot better it would be I criminal mean, to take an old Fergie apart just to make a rig yeah so well, you, you would need to have more modern tractors on joysticks I mean I still think you potentially if you could you could potentially go to a tractor breakers and try and find a joystick and buttons and see if you get them to map through into the game anyway through a Arduino controller. Well, that's not difficult to do at all. I mean, I've, I've practically that's what I think we've... I've practically done that already. So. Well, you're the man to talk to then, are you? So yeah, so I mean, I've I created an Arduino button box. So it's just like a USB thing. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah. A USB controller in effect, and you just wire up switches and dials to it, push buttons. Well. So well, if, you had a, a if you had a then, if you had a proper joystick, well, I'll send you a link to the video. I just copied that video. Um, I think is it Am Studio or Am something like that. He does lots of stuff like that, projects like that, and I basically just I've did that. Yeah. So you just go and you just okay. get whatever joystick you want, or, or out of a tractor or you know a breaker's yard. Everything will have a wire to it, and then there you go. Just wire, just wire that up to the Arduino instead. Okay, um, so Mark has said that Toby eye tracking is what he Hi, uses. Michael. Toby, How you so Toby, um, and he's also he's trying to buy a new Holland joystick exactly for that purpose, but not finding any. Pugsley, any ideas where we? Do you know anybody in the industry that you know for tractor breakers? I know some Irish people who live in caravans. I'm sure they could find one. I. I'm not saying a word to that one, Mark. <laughs> so, um, there is a company called John Manners who take insurance breaker combines. Um, oh, okay. you, you may be able to find some kit from them. And to be honest, you know, they want things like engines and stuff because they're worth a good amounts of money. So, stuff like joystick. Um, things like that you, you could get a feel there 
Okay, that's worth so, a try. John Manners, they have a haulage company and like uh, combine breakers. Have you Ooh. seen, uh, just you sort of on the same thing, tractor sales, have you seen Pete Marquis is selling his collection? Have you heard of Pete Marquis? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know he was selling his collection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Tom Pemberton did a video on it, went down to see him, and oh my god, the tractors he's got is unbelievable. So he's basically he's he's buying a new farm, so he needs he's selling them all to fund that, and then once he's got the farm established, his plan is to just buy the collection back. Nice. So, hmm. Mark Cotty says thanks for that pug, so we'll give it a try. So let us know. Mark, how you get on? Because obviously, if you get on quite well, I'll be probably giving you a shout mm. on Discord and going, uh, "Hi." If there, uh... <laughs> see, what, see what we can get set up. That'd be hilarious. Everybody in the Grey Man Discord, join the Grey Man Discord. And we'll give you exclusive rights to be able to set up your own tractor sim in your living room with joysticks, <laughs> seats, everything you could ever need. But only if you join us and pay a monthly fee. Wait a minute. Oi. Become a member. Be like Patreon. I may be able to find uh, some joysticks from elsewhere. I can I can do some digging. Don't but I know, you know you want to. I know this, this, I'm this, allowing my other half to come work for you for more days. This is what you need to pay me back with. Oh, I like oh, how you're paying. in charge of that relationship there. I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> no, really you made it sound really like not. I'm going to let her work more. <laughs> Like you have no, any say in it. The, she just keep me squaring the spuds if I did. <laughs> it, was the, it was the lack of hesitation at all when I called her the other day and said, would you come to work more? And she was like, yes. Thank God. <laughs> and just to let everybody know who doesn't realise, um, Pugsy obviously runs an agricultural machinery daily. Uh, agricultural machinery... Um, manufacturer. Where they manufacture where they build drills, etc. And my other half works for Pugsley in the accounts accounts yeah yeah accounts and admin doesn't even know his accounts wife does and admin so Did, were you asking the question of what your wife oh sorry your no, well, I do know exactly what she does but I didn't know what department she works in in your business my vast empire of well no it's it's, a couple, it's a couple of people in a in a port cabin office at the moment don't want to oversell it yeah but you, you, you start small <laughs> mate you know that oh absolutely everybody's got to start somewhere look at um look at the thingy a few years ago um oh really size yeah that's true that is true who's that but in the time i've known them you know they have skyrocketed to a handful of machines a year to a lot of machines a year. What do you think, in tens or hundreds? Uh, I heard a rumour that, that they're going to do something like, um, or they were aiming to do something like 80 drill. Oh, 80. right. Okay, Al. Uh, no, um, I was kind of just waiting for you to tell me you finished doing the grass. Sorry, Alan's just said in the comments that he's, um, his headset's died. So. Oh. Ah. So, so from, what, from what I've heard, they're going to do like over 100 machines is their aim, but let's see. Mm. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, fair play to him. Can't fault that. Well... Uh, if you are obviously new to either stream, um, either mine or PC Player Maps, welcome. Yeah. And you are watching the competition map, so it's my farm versus Malk's farm. Um, if you are new then and you are enjoying the uh, video, please feel free to smash like the live streams, that. smash the like button, and also uh, feel free to subscribe to either or both channels because it's always massively appreciated preferably we do both. try and run a live stream at least once a week at the moment mm -hmm. so uh Fenage fridays and competition map on saturdays but alternating weeks and maybe there might be other surprise live streams when we uh, get things sorted 
Yeah. Oh, you t I can't wait to find out what that surprise is. Because <laughs> if you've told me, I've forgotten. So. <laughs> no, I haven't told you. Well, yeah. I have. We have no. talked about another live stream, maybe. Oh, God. In the next. This is going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be on some dodgy three site. Three weeks. <laughs> no, you do know about it. Do you speak about it? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, don't worry. Oh, well, I'll find out. G GM and PC player Malk only farms. Only farms, yeah, that's it. Only <laughs> farms. <laughs> no, I'm chuffing, <laughs> egg. Um, I do Farmers do I'm it in the bar. By the way, it's going through, go. <laughs> All right. Oh, and on the back. I do, I do have a good memory. It's just very short. That's all. How much have got left in there? Five twenty-four thousand. Jesus, this flour mill absolutely. It's definitely not just our flour mill, then, is it? Hi, the Josh. How's it going? Uh, just think, Florida. It must be your possible dinner time-ish. Yeah. No, I don't. Absolutely know. Five ridiculous. hours behind us. I can't remember. I bet your weather's better than ours, though. I don't know, I've, I've got my grass cut today. Oh, it's but absolutely admit, Baltic up here and chucking it down. Well, it's been about 12, 13 here when the sun, and then oh. we've had a lot of showers on and off, but I kind of risked it for a bit of a, uh, oh, that's a, contract a, bit of a biscuit. I and to be honest with you, pulled the grass. it worked quite well. Um, the grass looks a little bit rough because it is chuffing long. Mm. But at least it's got a cut on it. And All it's right. drying off a little bit. I've managed to do a cut and also when I could see there was a bit of rain coming, I managed to seed the path that the dogs had worn into the garden where they've been running up and down. So... Mm. So where, whereabouts oh. in Florida are you from, Josh? Florida, wow. Mm. We are we are nearly global again this week. We just need Marty to come in and we've got the full globe covered. Yeah, Marty's injured from holiday. Not quite <laughs> sure what he was doing on his country and western festival by the sounds of it. He's got did, three trap nerves in his shoulder. Poor did he hurt himself doing bikini bow fishing? Well, Ooh, that's, the have, you know, he, that's the he question. That's the question. He might have just might have tried to um, pull back a bit too much on the old bows, might he? That was what I was thinking. Yeah, definitely. Got, I'm, I'm thinking that because you know, got to be careful pulling back on those bows. Hmm. Your bow string. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. You, they uh, if they catch your forearm. Ooh, that, you only do that once. <laughs> mm. uh, quick question: Is autoload allowed? No, Peter. Uh, autoloading is not allowed on this at the moment, but that might change at some point. Okay, flag because... the beach. I don't know where that is. So I know where, obviously, where Kennedy Space Station is, the greatest place on Earth. And then I'd love to go. Oh, it's best. It's so good. It's so good. And then I know where like St. Pete's is and Dunedin, that sort of area. So, although I did call it Dunedin for quite a while. Oh, <laughs> looks like Pugsy's cracking on with some nice contracts at the moment. Um, I, mean, I think I've nearly got. To be honest, I think I've nearly got all the little jobs done from my side, which is good. Good, good. So I've moved them out of the way, so the flower is kicking back on again. Uh, sugar beet cut is cooking through. We've still got 2,000 litres of sugar beet cut to put in at some, to put in the trailer at some points. Right, cooking good. Uh, ooh, uh, let's put some. Oh, I can't put any more. I can. Need to put some more. Uh, chicken food in the chickens. Chicken chickens. Right. Mm. Where's the course bay worker gone? A bit. Oh, it's all right. Oh, that starship that launch was amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
Ah, oh, that's not going to work. I'll just crash into that instead. I just okay, love well, the, cr oh. the, cr the like the crackle you get from those engines. I mean, all rockets do well, it. But, well, the Raptors do it, but like all rocket engines have that proper crackle to them. Do we think he's actually going to meet his target of going to Mars? Though. He, oh yeah, definitely. He's not. How is he not going to? How is he not going to do that? I mean, or do you not think he's going to end up running out of money before then, or just spend no. to go and buy something really no. stupid again? So like, one hour north of Kennedy Center, you can see all the rocket launches from your house. Oh, Josh. Really, right. We're, mov we're moving in. That's Sorry. it. <laughs> we're all going to Josh's house. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Go you got any beers? Put, put right the kettle there. on. Put the kettle on. We'll bring the tea bags because <laughs> Americans don't do proper tea. But yeah, we'll bring the tea bags. <laughs> just defend our host already, and we haven't even started yet. Well, I mean, it isn't. Me, it, it isn't just America. It's everywhere apart from England does crap tea. Right. Well, okay. So what? 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 So we've had this discussion before. Actually, your Yorkshire tea aren't you, same as me? Only Yorkshire tea. There's, there's Only no, Yorkshire. there's no other tea. There's no other tea in the world. Right, okay, so that's chickens topped up. Right, I feel like I'm just doing all the little odd, odd job to, jobs today. Right, looking good though. Uh... Mm. One thing I will say though is we, at least we do have a farm still. How, imagine uh, how are you farm. doing for seed, Alan? Are you alright? Yeah, it's really efficient this seeder. It's only down to 69% so far. The best number. Oh dear. Oh dear, he started already. <laughs> oh, when soybeans sell? Uh, oh god. That's a point. I think I I think I might have. Do I? You should have you should have the same amount of soybeans as me, or you should have some soybeans. Yeah. Um... <laughs> that's got that's got Peter started now. That's what she says. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, oh, so I've got oh, I've got wheat. I've, how have I got wheat? It's not in my grain mill. What the hell? Um, because that came from us when we did. You've got wheat in one of your productions when we put it in for a contract, didn't we? No, but I've got wheat in my that. silo. Oh, okay. I don't, um, pro no, probably from a contract. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, well. uh, if we look now, what are we gonna do? I have another one. I do have an idea. Hold on a oh, second. There's Pugsley. Got an idea. Hmm. Tempted. Tempted, tempted, tempted. Should we, should we, should we? Pugsley, yeah, so can you do me a favour? Yeah, I think, I think um, is Elon not moving into Texas or something? Isn't he? Yes, he's to moving get... up all of SpaceX and Tesla into Texas, isn't he? Could you yeah. jump out your tractor a minute so I can just tab into it? Please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. But I think I think he explained about why he's built a Starship base in Texas, and it was basically something to do with it. It was the best location in America because you have to like throw a rocket east to be able to get more efficiently out of out of Earth's gravity well. So right. And when you looked at the exact kind of ground that you need around it, and you know, Texas seemed to be the best place for it. So. Is he? Is he currently? Because he isn't his main base at Boca Raton, isn't it? But isn't that a Star Wars isn't he character? Launching at, <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's Boca Tan. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Josh yeah. was in the Marine Corps for eight years. Spent some time in Norway. Y'all definitely do tea and coffee. Way different to we do in America. Yeah. yeah uh, don't we? We have a lot stronger. Coffee in the UK, I believe, in the Europe, don't we? Than Americans, possibly. I would say. I, I would say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say Europeans. I know we're European, but mainland Europe is where I say Europeans. I think they do more coffee than what we do. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Well, they we do coffee with milk. I mean, pretty not many people have black coffee in in the UK. I would say. No, I know a couple of people. Yeah, but generally, people have milk and coffee here. And I think... Yeah, you... yeah. Pugsley? Yes, boss. 
Farmland 9. What's your thoughts? Farmland 9? Are you buying what? more land? Purchasing. That's... That's a lovely little field, that. Tempting? Mmm. <laughs> okay. We own it. Very good. It working. I need some more money. <laughs> no problem. How much have you got? Two thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. I'm finally a course play worker. I'm finally richer <laughs> than Green Man. I still have more fields than you. I only have so two we're... fields. Oh, I've now God. got four. I'm and it's going to. Board. I've got. I've got five months. Well, I think I've got six months left on my canola crop to go. So that's twelve episodes, or twelve weeks, I should say. Go off. <laughs> right. uh, what's the power requirement for the cockling jockey? One hundred and sixty. I think that's got one hundred. Ah, beautiful. Right, let's crack on. Right, let's go take the cockling jockey. It's going to get a crop put in. <coughs> probably going to course, probably going to course by this bad boy. I think maybe. I don't think it needs speeding, but there we go. So, um, everybody that's watching, what is everybody up to over the weekend? Anything interesting? Anything nice? Or are we just working, relaxing for the rest of the weekend? I was thinking of chilling out, Max, and relaxing. And Shooting some meatball out of the school. Yeah. A couple of guys. Yeah, they no were good. Were they? Yeah. They, where did they start making trouble? In my neighbourhood. In the neighbourhood. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you I didn't get in a fight, did no you? Way for it. Yeah, I <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. One little fight. Jeez, well, how was your mum? <laughs> she got scared. She got <laughs> <Did> so she... <laughs> scared. <laughs> I am moving to my auntie and uncle in Belair. All right. I yeah. did whistle for a cab. Did you? <laughs> and how yeah. did you smell? <laughs> <laughs> God, oh. Oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ. I can't, I can't oh, remember the rest of them now. I need, to, I need to do it in order to remember it. I feel like we've gone slightly on a tangent. Wow. That's a nice drill, Pugs. Wow. Well, um, it's a money, money, money. Not so I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 I'll go into, I'll, I'll, I'm going to bring up a slight tangent on this topic. So you've all heard of Will Smith's song Summertime, although I think technically it's Jazzy Jeff and the French Prince. It, it is, is, yes, yes, Summertime, right. yeah. So there's a guy or a band called Fort Francis and they've done a cover of it and it's so chill, like... Summertime is chilled out anyway. This is even more chilled out and it is absolutely amazing. So go and look on that on YouTube. Fort Francis, okay, okay. Summertime. It's brilliant. Okay, I'll, I'll have a look. Yeah. Uh, so I've got three J's Gaming saying money, money, money. Um, yeah, I've got no money on my side, mate. <laughs> no money, uh, no Mark money, no money. Potty, he's still packing for his house move. It's been his weekends for the last month. Can't wait to get some time to play FS. I can understand that, buddy. I really can. So let's hope you can at some point. Michael B is uh, relaxing because he's snowed in. Really? Mm hmm. Can't buy soil information for this field. That's good. Oh, I need to go sell some in a I've, minute, I've run. It? I've run out of seed. With oh, with ninety six percent done, I run out of seed. That's shocking. Right. So. So. Alan, I don't know if you want to have a change of equipment. Um, I, I was just concerned the grass seeding is done. Oh, it's done, is it? Right, okay. Well, do you want to do some planting with this uh, challenger? Yeah, challenger. Right, so I'll, what I'll do challenger. is... Yeah, cha a track challenger. Only the best for your side, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I've gone ART, mate. Oh. oh. It would be really good if I turn the seed on. This is what happens with Corpy, you know. We've got that direct seeder that literally you don't actually have to turn it on. You just lower it down and away she goes. Right. Yeah. 
mechanical, baby. I yeah, thought I could. Do we, do we not have to turn on that case seeder? No, you just lower it. Oh, I've been, I've been turning it on. <laughs> it's just a disc seeder, and it's just mechanical off the wheel. Yeah, 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 it's on the wheel drill. So it's like away she goes. I think I've been turning it on, but I think it's probably just force of habit. I've been trying to do this without turning it on. Didn't go well. Did it not? Right. Oh, now which is my seed? Is it this Pressing one? Pressing knowing what they're doing. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's the other one. Right, Alan, I'll tell you what. I've got this. I'm just refilling this um, cedar at the store. So once it's done, I'll tab into it. Uh, tab, I'll get out of it and you can tab into it. And you can finish off. Right, I'm out of it. I might just get some more seed. Because why not? It's cheap. Um, right, that's set that going at four miles an hour. And we've got field 28 oh. to finish. Field wait, sorry. Field 28 to finish. Um, let's see, is there anything else that wants... So that's got <laughs> sunflowers. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll give I'll give three J's gaming that he says if you're not in debt you're not trying hard enough in a farming simulator. True that. Gonna, yeah, so if, if you if you finish off field um, field twenty eight with cotton, and then you can move on to field forty eight. I think it is. Yeah, forty uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight cotton. Cotton, yeah, and then forty eight sunflowers. Uh, are you have I have I are you like got farm manager? Oh no, farm manager. There we go. Right. No, I'm not. No. Sorry. There you go. So uh, you'll be able to see contract and stuff. Oh, but that is see? rent. That this tool yes, here man. is rented out. Oh, forty percent. From is there more seed at the shop that we bought or not? Um, thirty-seven. Oh, field thirty-seven. Okay. So don't complete thirty-seven don't until you okay. finish I'll, the other two. I'll just let you sort the contracts out. All right. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna need oh, a weeder. Flowers. Let's do some flowers, I think. Oh, Let me go and have a look my side. at that's this. That's on my side. We uh, no fertilising. I need the fertilising. Right. Let me go and get into the. Oh, sugar beet, sugar beet. Let's do that one and that one then. Lint track. Pick up the fertilizer. Okay, that one I think. Okay, that tractor's yeah. doing an interesting job there. Have we got any more fertiliser? Oh, I've got a front hopper on this one, Pugsley. What's these over here? Oh. Very nice. Is that the Lemkin front hopper? Yeah, it's the Lemkin front hopper. I guess that this is rear. lime, is it? That's lime. Okay. And these are seeds. They're seeds. Right. Okay, where's our seeds? So Fertilizing contract is what? Uh, have I missed any? PCP milk. Team GM. Okay. Got you on the phone, GM. Oh, so Mike, Michael B's got me on the phone, and you're on his big screen. So. Oh, thank you very much. So sir. which which one are you listening to? Because I bet you that's. Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> you can have the audio off one. It's the same. Do it. Um... Is that a fert tank on the front for this? Do you think? 50. So field 50. Where's no, field 50? I think so. I don't think this is actually going to hmm. have... There it is. Dead easy to do that. I think that's a third tank on the front of this. Oh. That's annoying. Oh well. I'll put it anyway. I'm hoping this is, the map's going to get an update soon on Mod Hub. Where it turns the spawn point for equipment around I doubt it most people tend to overlook that don't they that just yeah. proves that we're not most people it just proves that uh, some map makers like a certain friendly neighbourhood tamed map maker would um, listen to us when we say can you turn it around please <laughs> Red dog? <laughs> the hell out of me, I know that. Yeah, it's, it's hard work. I will probably look at... 
Oh, well, that's quite a big field. Chuff. Okay. Eek. It'll be fun with this plant, with this cedar. Yikes. Oh, well. Oh, the BGA sold some electric things. We've got a bit more money back in the bank. It's a good job, because we're going to need a bit more seed to complete this contract. Well, there's a bag, there's a bag left at the Eek. shop. So, yeah. I'm turning into farm manager on this one, I think. So I've got... I want to get. I've got oats going in on that other field. I've got wheat on the other on the far field, so we've got two harvests ready for. Hi, MG Edits. How are you doing? Oh, MG Edits is on. Malks this evening. How are you doing, buddy? Hope for you well. I do. I do. Must have not. I do like these new Holland tractors. They are good. British, British build. Can't beat them. Not all of them, though, are they? <laughs> I'll put it in. I'll three. Look at Right. Let's get this done. Yeah, they are pretty good. Transfer you. Uh, Mark, I do like New Holland tractors. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, good. I'm uh, MG edits. Um, uh, well, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Just a bit tired. Been butching the hours at work, so. Too much YouTube recording as well. Yeah, and YouTube recording. My God. Stuff me. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to being away from the computer tomorrow. Gaming day, board game day. Woohoo! And Horus Heresy, apparently. Are you getting dressed up for it in all your cosplay stuff? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll just get the missus to do that instead. <laughs> Shut up, Fogsley. I'm not going to be able to look at her in the same light. Yeah, yeah, so this is the Farm v Farm. Um, Green Man versus PC Player Monk. The, fr the friendliest warfare there'll ever be in a game. I did indeed say board games, Mark Cotter, yes. So, um, every nerd. month. Nerd. Um... Yes, yes, nerd. <laughs> um, so, tomorrow's going to be Horus Heresy, which um, is a version of Horus Heresy that apparently came out in like 1998 that we're going to play. We played Space Hulk a couple of weeks ago. Oh, God, Space Hulk um, was brilliant. Yes. So... Um, I think we're going to tomorrow. How different? Is Space Hulk very different? Because there was, was a Space Crusade as well. Was that like... Space Crusade was Are we very... talking about... So were you talking about the same things that I'm talking about when it comes to Space Hulk? So Space Hulk is uh, Warhammer 40k. Yeah, and Space Crusade yeah. was. But it was like... It, I, I always felt that Space Crusade was more like Playmobil of Lego. It was the same, but it was different. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Mark Cotty's um, got 70 board games as well. He's also a nerd. That's good, man. Good man. Yeah. I've got a wardrobe full of board games and lots and lots of living card games from Fantasy Flight Games as well. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Arkham Horror, uh, Marvel Champions, Marvel United, um, Pandemic. Can't, I'm trying to think. I'll have to open my wardrobe in a minute and find what? out. Uh, well, Josh, Hello. if you hold on for a few episodes, what? you might be uh, happy with us. So, Josh just put, we should all cut down trees, turn them into wood chips on our coffee survival. Versus daggering. So Yeah, hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold for that thought. Two? What is that, 18, 20, 19? 19, no. next, next episode. On Friday. Next episode. Friday's episode. Friday's episode. It's going to be no, Monday's episode. Oh God, is it more? I have no idea what day of the week it's, it is. It's Saturday today, good my good friend. I haven't had a day off for. This hmm. is why you see. This is why Mount Caster do these videos with me. Yeah. Uh, did I not? Have to a... be honest with you though, uh... when we did start planning the mass amount of recording we needed to do, you were better at planning it out than I was. 
Uh, are you in the... Um... I think now it's... Alan, are you in the uh, tractor that I, the tractor I've got? I can't remember what type it was. The McCormick. Yeah, I was just setting up the uh, horse flow for doing this subsoil. Doing the subsoil. Oh, sort of Which subsoil? The, the bit that I started doing last time. Oh right, okay, yeah. On uh, your field. Oh no, well, now. oh yeah, that's right. Um, okay. I was just going to kick the horse flow off and I'm going to finish that scene off. Right, yeah, that's all right. Um, right. Interesting, Mark Fossey. Uh, Red Dog's also a big board gamer as well. Is um, he? he plays an awful lot of board games. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. So, um, he plays quite a lot of uh, quite good chats with him about it. He also played quite a few games on Board Game Arena. Uh, a few of the and uh, Tabletop Simulator on Steam, that's quite good. As well. All right, twelfth episode. Well, you're not that far behind us. Now you get there, mate. You get there. We we start to get a bit more of a groove as we get on further and further. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, yeah, Josh, we are definitely gonna be killing it. Um, basically, Chainsaw and Dagwin should just give up. If they knew they're in a competition with us, they would give up. <laughs> <laughs> who knew that um, FS players were super nerds yeah, yeah who would know someone who likes to imagine driving around on a farm with a tractor and doing the same thing year on year on year on year yeah. on a computer screen Yeah, would be a nerd playing I mean Im games. imagine if people even tuned yeah. in to watch us do that I mean Christ <laughs> so people then spend their Saturday nights yeah. talking to each other about it while doing it, while other people are watching. I mean, crazy. Yeah. So, uh, so That's basically, uh, so this is kind of bubble fishing. Josh, having a bit of a con conversation about it. So we 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 made the decision that because um, obviously Chainsaw and Dagwin, they just well, I think it's more Dagwin than Chainsaw. And all they're doing is just skipping through months until there's something to do. They're not like... Well, the way we thought it would be is you do something every month and it's it's kind of... It's annoyed us a little bit. Not that, not that it really matters, but we're not going to play like that. I think it's annoyed you more than me. Yeah, I just think... You know, what... what I, I, gone, I don't well, know. And I said this right at the start. I said this right at the start of the thing. I've no idea what the competition is. Because they did, they did put it as a survival, was it survival challenge, survival multiplayer challenge. That's what they put it at, and we don't know what the challenge is. Because it's, it's like it's not a challenge; it's it's a co-op one. This one. Yeah, no, but that's what. But they did put survival, oh, survival co-op challenge. That's what they do, and I just don't get what the challenge is because, what you know, it's like a farmer can't just wake up and think, "Oh, I'm not doing out today. I'm going to skip through till everything's ready for me to harvest and sell." That's not how it works. So, um, so we've so That's the, point, anyhow. So the decision we made was that the only grass that we're going to make it to silage and sell is when we buy a new plot of land and we create a field. We're going to take the grass off it first and then cultivate it. When if we if we make a grass field and we make silage off it, it'll be for animal food. That's all. Or we, or hay or yeah, grass off, off sheep. Yeah, etc. We're not we're not going to do the money. The money job of um, silage, yeah. and just do it, just be a silage farm because it's, the game's broken, and you know for a fact you can make a ridiculous amount of money. But then again, probably wait till episode twenty-one, and then we'll probably show people what a good amount of money is. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is a good amount of money. We've so. done well with that. We have, but then we've both done exactly what we thought we were going to do. This tractor's got no front end grip because I've got no weight on the front. It's horrendous. Sure for me. This weeder <laughs> looks all wrong on this tractor. Are you took another contract, Pugsley? Really? Uh, I have, yeah. What do you think, Pugsley? Is this is this right? This weeder on this tractor? Um, absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> what they've done is gone. They've gone. Horsepower requirement is low for weeding. Yeah. So throw a tiny tractor on it. 
but that is that's awful. Mm. 30%. It's not too good. Whoa, doggy dog, doggy dog, come on. I've literally got no front end grip at all. I might need to put either some fertilizer in this. I don't know if I may have reappropriated one of your bags of seed there. It'll be alright. It won't leak. 48 sunflowers, the other one. Let me oh, just check. Say... I think I think I did say sunflowers, didn't I? Let me just check. Um... It's... Oh, it's a contract, isn't it? I could check this off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sunflowers, yeah. I'll check on how the other workers are getting on every minute. How are you getting on, Pugsley? Well, what I thought, GM, is uh, I've got 94% of Field 5 done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but with the size of this uh, planter, yeah. uh, um, Field 21 will be knocked out pretty quickly. So, Yeah, I think you know, I've, we've got no problems with that. We all, we both, me and Mel, do that anyway, don't we? And we've got no issues with that. So, Oh, well, that's doing all right, though. Yeah, awesome. I kind of. Ten I, I agree with you, but we think it just. I, I literally watch their series just because. We, we kind of have to, so. But I On don't. Class. I don't find how they're doing, and I and I get the feeling that the chainsaw is not enjoying it either. So. I don't think Dagwin's even enjoying it. No, I mean I'll say we're enjoying our series, aren't we? we yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're really enjoying what we're doing. Yeah, so. And I think that uh, shows because we do have a good laugh. Yeah, we do. We're trying to have a good laugh because of what we have to do, isn't it? It's yeah. not. And we have knocked out behind the scenes two and a bit weeks of content mm -hmm. ahead. So we've. I think <laughs> this week we've done recording every single night bar one. Bar one, yeah, I think, yeah. I think, have we? So. Uh, Simon Baker's asked how many day seasons are you playing at the moment buddy we're just playing one day seasons but we can probably increase that when we get busy um, we are it is in the rules that the amount of days in the season is going to change if we need it to be so mm -hmm. at the moment it's just one day but um, we're not playing it super rigid obviously before the live stream me and Mount did agree between both of us that we're going to skip the month through from February to March, so we all had something to do. So um, it's just a bit of fun, really, as well. And it's a nice little easy live stream for people to join if they want to help us out. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, I don't think we actually said it, but if you want to join in this series, get on the Greyman Discord. There's a link. You can get the mods off there and that we're running. And come and join us. Yeah, more than welcome to. And if you want to then jump into the live stream voice chat as well in the Discord, um, you obviously then be on a live stream, you'll chat to us, etc. If you don't want to be in the voice chat, you can just uh, obviously communicate via uh, typing on either whoever's channel you're watching. Yeah. But uh, it is pretty much an open server. The only thing that's different compared to Mod Hub um, mods is our auto driving course play are running the latest ones off of GitHub. Or I think actually the course plays the latest one, the auto drives one behind. Right. So what are on that's two f uh, yeah, that's two one two oh one four. I think there's a two oh one six, but that's got some bugs. Quite big bugs I found on multiplayer servers, so I haven't upgraded. I like um, big <laughs> like, big bugs is in it decides to take all corners at flat out speed and if you even if you changed it to lower speed oh. so the amount of factors that roll over is pretty catastrophic or they just keep going straight they just send it straight forward to a Colin McRae if so, in doubt if in doubt flat out son. not sure it usually works in a 20 ton tractor though yes it does mm. works for everything with with no suspension. <laughs> yeah, I might be wrong. Yeah. 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 Correct me if I'm wrong, you know, oh, 52 litre. Okay, fill up with some more seed. Have we got some more seed back at the shop, Pogsley? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree, Bubba Fish. I think yeah, he's a better content. I just think. I don't know what anyone else thinks about Chainsaw's videos on the Corby one. He still need, he needs to sort his audio out. I, I mean, I, I generally watch I generally watch Dagwins, to be right. honest with you, because um, yeah, 
I think you usually watch chainsaws, I usually watch Dagwins and then between us when we're chatting to each other we'll kind of come together and what's going on. Yeah. But it's just, I think I think what I, I find about there, it's, it's the people who comment on their videos and it's like everything they do, it's like they're gods. And you look and you think, I mean, wait. I think well. Yeah, it's just there's a lot of fanboys with, especially with Dagwin. I think we we had some comments, didn't we? Some nasty comments off someone. Uh, why why we've we? We've had quite a few now. Yeah, we actually, have. Yeah. We? yeah, people who've seen us doing thing and basically saying we're copying. Well, I think and everyone who does a farming us. simulator video is copying off somebody else. So. Um. Apologies on my live stream. Then I don't know why for some reason my game started to quit back to Windows. So it's back again. Don't worry. Oops. Hmm. Imagine if somebody started copying your content. That would be that'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Well, not really, is it? It's just. Well. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you can like. Hmm. <laughs> you know me. Right. Let's go back to the shop. Put your winky pots on. Oh, I'll yeah. give it a triple like if it's Balku's taking a dive next. I am not taking a dive. I know how to drive a tractor. You've all Oi. seen me nearly go in the drink, but skillfully I managed to keep it out of there. I didn't because I was just, I was doing it for audience and um, yeah, well, you should. effect mainly. I have never heard what? such utter rubbish in my entire life. I may roll <laughs> this. That is top grade <laughs> bullshit, mate. That's what that was. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Top grade, absolute top <laughs> grade Saturday night bullshit. Don't you worry about it. I'll be quite honest. Top grade. I mean, you, if anything, I would have said, I would have tried to blame server lag. Because I think if I go in the water, that's what it's going to be. And whenever I'm coming up to that bridge now, I always try and square it up and go straight at it way before I get to the bridge. Just in case it lags as you're turning onto it. So. I just wasn't paying any attention. I, no. I can't steer. <laughs> completely got it asked about face and flip straight in and went, oh, shit. I, I mean... Uh, I, I, I'm still laughing at the uh, I keep watching it I'm so glad I made a clip of it of when I uh, did the dirty on Red Dog the other day <laughs> thought that was quite funny I knew exactly what I knew exactly what I was going to do as soon as he come to help me pick it up because he did squeeze me on that corner and I thought right I'll sort you out here and then when he just turned around and said no good deed goes unpunished I thought perfect <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it was funny. Right. Uh, looks like Pugsy's is cracking on. Have you got Field 5 done, bud? But you obviously don't want to collect it because we're using the thingy, aren't we? Exactly that, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, so we're just looking at our contract. Uh, which one? You're doing 48, aren't you, Alan? So you're 20%, yeah, you're about 20% done. The other one's done. Yeah, I've, I've collected that one, yeah. Um, so what I need yeah, to Alan's do... Alan's a cracking farmhand, isn't he? No, what, sorry? Alan's a cracking farmhand. Yeah, he's a cracking farmhand. Yeah, he's a cracking farmhand. Turns oh, he's everywhere. brilliant, yeah, he just turns up every week. Does a, does a crack, does a crack, it just cracks on, so, man. No yeah. mess. A bit like, Marty's the same. I like it when Marty joins Yeah, us. true, but Marty he's has to the... deal with like 400 millisecond lag from Australia, <laughs> poor man. <laughs> I don't know. God. I have to combine. Why? Because it's running slow enough for me to counter steer in about two minutes time. Yeah. So I need to I need to buy a roller so we can get that grass finished off. So let's see. Is there anything a Oh the, if only there was a roller in the store for sale. Uh, uh, 41 I can't quite afford the little roller um yeah so if we are going heavy into productions on this now, yeah um leasing is allowed yes um do we think it's probably a good idea to maybe turn on and put on the auto load I mean I know it can be hard doing pallets on a single player game on a multiplayer game on a daddy server it can be a nightmare can't it yeah it's, it, it's just a thought that's all uh... yeah I mean I wouldn't be against it 
All oh, right, so we've got um, we're just a little conversation that's going on in my chat. Uh, Bubble, uh, who was it said? Um, Bubble Fish, I once saw an FS22 player place a bridge over a river. Don't know if it was a mod or what. Well, it'll definitely be a mod. Uh, Mark Cotty said there's a great bridge mod pack that I've used. So we were actually talking about this, weren't we, in our Corpy episode? In the last episode, yeah, 22. So 22, Mark. Yeah. If you don't mind, buddy, uh, could you ping either me or Malk a DM on the Discord with which one you used, please? Yeah. That'd be really good. And did you have to did you do it in game or did you do it via Giants Editor? Either's fine. Um, either's not a problem, to be honest with you. Because that so, that bridge um, on Corpy is just horrendous. It is. It needs sides to it. Yeah. Um, and also the question to Mark Cotty actually from my side is when you do get back playing FS again are you going to join us on a live stream so I think you should and to answer Peter Peter's question have we seen Peter slow recently I mean, he's been back um, in he's been back on the discord hasn't he he was saying a lot yeah he, he spends he does spend quite a bit of time on iFarmer Steve's live streams when yeah. iFarmer Steve is doing his live streams but he hasn't done them for a couple of weeks I don't think he's been a little bit uh, I think he's got some other things going on I think he had some in internet issues life. for a while as well didn't he yeah he did I think mm. so um, I think he is getting back Good. to it again so I think uh, some point in the new year it'd be quite nice to probably do a three a three way hey. oh. Oh. Good man. not that type of that's good. Mark Cotty said, once I've got my setup in my new house, I'll definitely join the live streams. Nice one, buddy. You're yeah, more yeah. than welcome. That's always good. I mean, we are going to carry on running a live stream series. Hmm. I think every Peter has internet issues. Well, yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah, I know you definitely do, Peter, but we haven't seen you on a live stream for, for, for months, and it's... We are missing you these days. We are, Peter. Yeah. I, I believe you, you're busy doing other things. Peter joined the server. Peter left the server. <laughs> Peter the server. <laughs> it's left the server. Almost. But Peter is still the number one uh, liked commenting person on my YouTube channel by quite hey. a way, apparently, with my statistics. Ah, so Bubblefish is saying you can raise up the bottom of the river with landscaping to make the land bridges. Now, I'm not sure if that's true because I tried, I know when I was waiting for you to join the server the other day. You know, um, there's a patch of oats, I think, under the river just north of the bridge. And I tried yeah, to, like, it's really annoying. I tried to get rid of them with a landscaping tool, tried to grass over them, and it wouldn't let me. It would, you could do the bank, but as soon as you went yeah. into the water, it wouldn't let it. So I'm wondering if you could actually raise the land underneath the water. Oh, to be honest with you, if we're going to raise the land of the water, or raise, the, yeah. raise that part. I'd more than likely like to do it in GE. Right. I mean, I, I, don't, don't know. I, I don't think we should remove a water hazard because... No, I think... We have to keep that I in just to keep it. I think we're able to put bridges in. Yeah, because we need, we need something to for you to fall into every now and again. But um, Thanks. Well, <laughs> Mark said the bridges you can put in game. So All right, okay. if you can put the bridges in game, then we'll do it. Yeah. We'll save it about 17 times first <laughs> then we'll put it in and then we'll hope it works and then we'll probably well we'll try it on an offline version first and just you know and then yeah, I'll just, just see one. how it works no biggie you know, yeah. just to get used to the using them yeah sounds like a plan sounds good uh, what, what's the same with the rollers you just lease as big as one as you like because we've got this uh, challenger Ooh. Oh, look at you. You could, you could get the Mega Roll pack from Dalbo, couldn't you? Uh, do you think? Um, yeah, okay then. Tell, tell it, us when you've finished. It's a bit naughty, but I'll, I'll say it's fine. Well, you could do it as well. So if I lease, can we can we use okay, it on we'll our land? That's the only thing. Yes, of course you can. No, but... Yeah, all right, so could, could a contract... So like speeders you can't use on your own land. But can a contract tractor hook up to a leased... Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Perfect. Well, just yeah, just if you if you get finished mm, before me, I'm not sure who will. Uh, you're on sixty percent. I'm at seventy. Maybe I'm going to finish first. Okay. I'll I'll maybe lease one and bring the McCormick over. 
The McCormick should pull the big roller. Yeah, I don't think it's got that big a power requirement. Mm. Well, I, I think it's got, it's got, got a 200 really small, I thought it's got 200 horsepower in it. Yeah. Oh. Although the McCormick is doing the um, subsoiling, isn't it? Okay. That's doing a quite a good job. <coughs> the Linda could do that, though. This, uh, this, this Aryan. Possibly. This subsoil on this big field is going to be two hours and seven minutes. Blimey. So it's, it was three hours <laughs> when I started it at the start of the live stream. The only, the only good thing with those subsoilers is that they're relatively cheap. You could put a second oh, right, subsoil. Okay. I understand that, but yeah. You, you could, but the problem I've got is you'd have to you'd have to reset the course and start it all up again, and you'd have to redo the whole area again. If you're going to do it, you'd have to you'd have to tell it you want to do two yeah. pulls. You have to do left and right, left one, right one. So it's either side of the line, so they don't crash into each other. Ah, and you wouldn't okay. be able to do up and downs. You'd have to do lands. You'd mm. have to do thingies then lands. The problem with that though is lands are really good, but like I said to Malcolm yesterday when we was recording Corpy, if something goes wrong you're then spending 20 minutes to work out where it came from what because could go it's wrong, a bank right? in an island yeah. rather than an up and down mm -hmm. it can be quite comical and also if you reset <coughs> or come off the server and go back on again by default both the workers go back to a left one configuration for a multi-tool so you then right. need to work out which one was left one and which one was right one. Okay. If you set them wrong, you can then get one of them driving through the crop, doing nothing, and another one going just round the whole place, trying to combine or do something that's already been done. Brilliant. So, it, it works really well if... Yeah, if it works. But the pleasures of course play an auto drive. Fantastic. I wonder how many people in the chat on either of our streams use Corsplay and Auto Drive on their offline single players, and how do you find it? There's a mm. question for everybody. Uh, I use Corsplay, but I've not really got into Auto Drive yet, but I use Corsplay a lot. Okay. I think you're very much like me, Alan, and I was I was deterred from Auto Drive because it looks really complicated. But it really amazing. isn't. It really isn't. And once you get using it, and it works so well with cosplay. Yeah, I just need to play with it. I've, I've not really done it's much. Absolute, it's an absolute game changer. It really is. And if you get, if you need any tips or tricks on auto drive, then either ping me a message or ping Red Dog message. Yeah. <laughs> I learned from Red Dog and Klaus. Um, to be honest with you, and they, I think Klaus has used it since 17, I think. <laughs> so he very much knows his beans about that. He was really good on that. He knows his onions. Yeah, he does. Uh, and then Red Dog's really good at fixing some issues. He showed me the debug menu in Auto Drive, which works really, really well. So if you've got a really weird thing going on, like I had a problem with a field ring on the Oaks, but it just didn't work. And turn debug on, and course bay goes away and looks at all the courses. Uh, auto drive goes away and looks at all the courses of auto drive, and it will tell you where ones have errored and what they've got wrong. And I found that one out of like 400 waypoints was the wrong way round. <laughs> Brilliant. And on a one way a field ring, it stopped the tractors using the field ring. So I changed that one, and it worked perfect. I was like, ah, oh, that is godly. So stuff like that is really clever. But Mark Cotty says I use CP a lot, but not double an auto drive, but certainly will do. It's definitely one to dabble with, Mark. Because um, mm. what when you get it in your head and you can set it up, I was showing Pugsy the other night, to be honest with you. And especially for unloading your silos to a sale point, set up set up your auto drive and it just does it all for you. You go, right, take that to there. This is how many times I want to do it, or I want to do it until infinity. So until the silo is empty, just go and you just leave it. The driver just goes and does it. Or if you want it to unload a tractor, it will do the same. Fertilizing, seeding, you can set it so it will fill up one of your silos on your farm. 
then it will go to the field, hand over from auto drive to course play, do it, run out of seed, go back to auto drive, auto drive will take it back to the silo, fill it back up, drives back to the field, course play kicks back in and carries on where it was. Fully automated course field play system. Course play to do all of that for itself, it doesn't seem to, it, to do that anymore. No, because it's not got recording anymore, is it? No, so I no, never not, used not it really. in 19, because I never played it, and I never played 19. So I'm my used to auto drive and course play that way. So, ooh, hey Massey8480, how you doing buddy? Thanks very much for joining us again. Hope for you're well this evening, bud. Yeah, see, I was told course play was an awful lot more powerful in 19 than it is now. It, it seems to be, yeah. I think the uh, user interface was a lot better in 19. But the whole user interface for the game in 19 was better because it had the horizontal tabs across the top rather than the yeah. vertical tabs which we've got now, which I don't think work as well. But, well, all our contracts are nearly done. I'm going to finish this field though. Ooh, maybe. I've got 43 litres left. Well, 48's I've done. 33 litres. 48's so done. Okay. I would, uh, yeah. um, I'm just swapping over these tractors so we can. Three or four. Do the subsoiling with the uh, lint track it? instead. Uh, which way is it this way? Right, so. So you finish that. Completely agree, Massey 8480. 80 uh, horizontal tabs make it feel more professional. Yeah, I think it make. I mean, I've seen the videos of 19, and I just think 19's interface looks better. It gives you more screen space as well for looking at stuff. I'll bring you the. Have menu, you can't have a menu on the left hand side. I'm going to bring the case, uh, the McCormick, over to the dealer. Um, we'll hire that roller, and then we can get that grass rolled in if you want. I'll let you do that if you want. Okay, do you want me to complete this contract then? We don't, if we don't need to hire it. Are there any more. Sort of uh, planting contracts that we could do. I am actually going to finish this contract. I know I don't have to, but it bugs me when people don't, so I'm going to anyway. So I'm going to go get some more seed. seed. Like, if there's any more. Um, no, it's, it's only a potato one. It's, it's one no, we don't want that. Um, oh, so when you. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, might as well. Might as well just collect them books. both then. Okay. Uh, uh, 48 and 37. No, we're down to sowing potatoes, so... Um, nice. Yeah. Oh, it required. So, that. so, 71 grand now. Um, okay. Is that Valtra still in the sale? 200 horsepower. Mm. What, GM? Yeah, it's about a bit. Valtra Falmet, I think I should have it. Is you sure I can buy it? I think. Sorry? Well, um, how um, uh, no, I can't buy it now. I'm not allowed to. Okay. So, what did you say, Grey Man? How many tractors have you got at the moment? Two. Sorry, correction, I can buy it if you want it. Oh, there's uh, two fertilising contracts, buddy. If you want to get in the McCormick, um, and I'll lease that roller for you. And we do have a fertilizer, but we've got no spare tractor at the moment. But you could potentially use God, at least one of the seven thousand. I'm trying to think, maybe. Um, um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Have some seed. Right, I'm gonna buy. The, I'm Ooh. gonna buy the Valtra. Tough, massive rollers just turned um, up in front of me in the shop. That's good. Oh, who's? No offense, guys. Whoever's bought that is going to have serious fun getting that out of the shop. <laughs> I've, I've leased it. I've leased it. I think you'd have to pick that up with super strength to move it. Oh, honestly. To be honest with you, I really do. Um, I'll see what I can do. Probably. 46. There's some more seeds. Yeah, I need another an attractable attract tra bubble fish. It's. Um, I'm I'm struggling. So, what did you say, GM? I said there's more seed at the shop if you need it. Okay, that um, that field's done, by the way. Okay, are you done all your stuff then? 
Yeah, I've done all the seeding. I was just going to go and load the seed at the top with the rest of your seed. Oh, do you want to unload? I was going to say, do you want to unload the seed at the farm? Yeah. Is there any seed much? left at the shop to fill up? Yeah, there is actually. Yeah, there's a little there's a bag. So if you want to do that, then run it back to the <coughs> farm. That'd be good. And I'll bring right. this one back as well when I'm done. So I've got a seeding contract to do. So we'll go and get on with that. Oh, I haven't jumped out of my tractor. I meant to press 3, not D. Potentially there is a thingy as well, buddy. There'll be a spare tractor to do them for contracts if you want. Uh, okay. Yeah, it is a good tractor for the price. So, um, I need to sow a field 45. It'll be preparing, though, probably. Um, yeah, okay. it'll be all right for now. Right. Why is that said it's done, but it's not done? Okay, that's where the con contract's... Contracts plus mod is balked on this. Is it? It's completed that contract no. and I haven't actually fully completed it. Huh. Oh well, picked up some more seed. Well, I've actually ran out of contracts. Yeah, we nearly have as well, so we could. What? No, you've got loads. You've got f one. T oh no. Oh, 20. I've got one more fertilizing. I could. Two fertilizing. When did they crop up? Oh. We've got loads of fertilizing, mate. I shall do those then. You've got two, we've got two. You've got 16 and 20, you've got 27 28, haven't you? Yeah, I'll go do those. I didn't yeah. realise. So. And then we've got field field two, we're not going to do that one, because that's potatoes, and I really don't feel like I want to, yeah, do potatoes. What, well, is it planting potatoes? Yeah. Yeah, I right, saw that. Not planting potatoes, sorry. I mean, if we want to skip through to the next month, we can do. It's not... Uh, well, I don't want to lose those two fertilising contracts, so... I'll no, not yet. I meant. I, I meant yeah. if we want more work to do after we've done the fertilising contract. Yeah. Then, okay. Don't worry. Okay. Right. So let me just. But I don't think we're going to run a massively late one tonight, anyway, are we? No, because I've got to get up early in the morning. So. Five o'clock. Be all right. Very nice. Hey, mm -hmm. How long are you working for tomorrow? Uh, just eight hours. Oh, that's way. Are you picking up the... Yeah, you are, nice one. I will leave you to do that, buddy. I'm just going to come over the bridge first. No problem. Oh, need to pick up these bags of lime that were dropped by mm -hmm. so dude what? last time. Actually, what? I don't know where that dude, is, dude. Yeah, good point. Yeah. So, sewing with I shall oats. have to DM him. If Thanks, you buddy. If problem? Uh, A G mm -hmm. Ah, well, maybe I could. Uh, where, where's the, where's the Grand Prix at tomorrow? Australia. Oh, is it that one? Right. Okay. Yeah, it's. I. I don't. Yeah. It's. You might as well just not watch it. So, the whole season's a write-off again already. No yeah. proper transport. Be honest with you, because you've got. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take this back to the shop, Pugsley, and then I'll. Complete the contracts when you've unloaded that. Yeah, I'm unloaded. Um, what do you, you want, want me to what? fertilize with? Um, if you give me a minute, could you do me a favour? Could you jump into the John Deere? The John Deere. Got our John Deere. Oh, our John Deere. It's yep. got the uh, cockling jockey on it. Could you just double check that field? So there might be some patches where it still needs to be finished. There are a few patches. If you could do that for me, that would be really good, thank you. And then you can use that tractor to do the fertilising contracts. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Then we should have enough money then to potentially either buy or rent a roller. And then yeah. I'm going to set a course play worker off. I think I think that's the yeah, best way to watch uh, Formula 1, Global Fish. Just the highlights at the end. <laughs> yeah, I, w I watch the highlights as well, actually. On um, I actually watch them on YouTube in the Formula 1 channel. It's better you know, than all the other stuff. Uh, there was like back in maybe the 90s there was me and my neighbor and we used to like formula one was was absolute king and to the point that a weekend a formula one weekend come the friday night we would set the scale electric track up for that race nice <laughs> and we would race it so and it's great because you got to learn the you got to learn the track for the you know if you didn't know all the tracks you got to learn it and then you know, so we used to have a race, and then Saturday practice, we would have our qualifying matches, and then nice. that was, yeah, that's that's what we used to do. 
but then it just got it just got boring so and I got I got more day. into I got <laughs> I got more into um, MotoGP because that was when it was really great and it got even better when Rossi left Honda and went to Yamaha um, the days when he, he nearly made Jibinau cry was just absolutely fantastic so what is the... But then even that, when they went to the 800s, that racing got ruined and it never really recovered. Have you seen Rossi is now racing in World Endurance Championship? Yeah, yeah, he's doing all sorts. Have you seen, have you seen his house? He's got this, like, uh, supermoto, um, I don't know, experience, I don't know what you call it. But he's got, he's got his own supermoto track and he has loads of people out doing stuff, you know, and... And he does his rallying as well, and then you know he's been doing like the Le Mans and things like that. So, yeah, the guy must be absolutely loaded. Oh well, yeah, he's he's made a lot of money there, and he's probably got an awful Jeez. lot of sponsorships as well. Yeah, that has no data found with precision filming on that field. Okay, didn't know that. I almost had a chance to meet him once because he was rallying with M Sport, which is like not far from my house no. where it's done. Far too much money. So. Jesus. Uh, well, I don't have a tractor or anything. Um, if I want to borrow one of the class Arians, thousand pound. Thousand pound. That's fine. I will. I shall pay. The contract farm a thousand pound in a moment then okay that's fine I'll i nearly that. i nearly did that myself actually before but i thought mm, I'm not sure if that's allowed yeah i think yeah i think it's fair it's, a, it's got tractors yeah. there if we've got an awful lot of people work in the yeah. farm and mm. we've got the right. thing is i'm just gonna i've just got rubbish at reversing look so you can do me a favor your thing when you on that would you mind doing the rolling on that field if you hire the rent lease the dow by roller the small one please yeah, sure. no problem thank you i'm going to do these fertilizing contracts quick sounds like a plan well I have two f well i have three fields to harvest this year thingy then we'll have a grass field Probably to cut next episode as well, or next live stream. Ooh. Have we? Oh, have we... oh get some grass there's there's a um, there's a mod that I'll want us to put in. You know that uh, okay. you know that Gutling is it Gutling Mayer roller? Yeah, yeah. The one that's really good for grass yeah, and and for rolling. A couple of Maya. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Mm. No problem at all. I'm going to put some more damage fur I've got left. Hopefully enough. <laughs> Red Bull's changing Max's engine for Australia. Really? That means he's going to get a grid penalty, isn't he? Uh, he'll be within his allowance so far. Oh. Well, he set a new um, lap record, didn't he, on his, on his thingy? On his qualifying he, lap? He was upset. Um, he wasn't happy. He was upset? I would never have thought he would get upset. I know. I know, right? It's so unlike him. Um, you know, he wasn't really comfortable with his set of until Q3 which right, okay. yeah yeah 20, 20. no no I'm not happy I wasn't sandbagging oh yeah oh, we're having a race wow <laughs> I'm maxed well, out the Johnny Pops the Johnny Pop is winning so far the acceleration on that is beautiful rapid oh I'm going to do him over the bridge big pun <laughs> <laughs> look at him go oh Robin is racing. I mean, there's no need for that, is there? Well, it's a rent to den, mate. I'll tell you what, I didn't have my Winky Pop stability management on the night. 
No, you need to drive a couple of horses. It's a real thing. I, ne I nearly rolled the other John Deere that I had because there was no winky pots on it. You see, it's, it's a fact. It's just true. Mal can his gyroscopic forces. I think he's got gyroscopic forces. <laughs> well, that that um, that bloody Valtteri we bought in Corby, it's got LED strobe ones. It's no good. They won't keep us upright. No wonder you went off the bridge. Well, I, that's the that's the problem. You see, it wasn't my bad driving. Mm. Don't give him any excuses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. Going right, I think here. Go to field 16 and 20. I'm quite surprised that Red Bull are changing Max's engine. Oh well. I'll be surprised if Red Bull have still got Christian Horner in charge by the end of the season. I can't figure out. Is is if he leaves, does that mean that Max will leave, or Max has to leave, mm. or? What's the crack with that? I don't that? think he has to, but I, I think these are these probably a break cause in his contract, isn't they? So it's not that it's not that um, Max is like he wants Christian Horner to be in the team. It's just the fact that he wants to be in the team that Christian Horner manages, and if he goes, then he's free of his contract, sort of thing. It's not like he's supporting probably. Christian Horner over this whole thing. Well, his dad, his dad definitely isn't supporting Christian Horner, is he? Yeah, well, that's what I couldn't understand. I didn't know if, like... Because I'd heard that Max would leave if Christian left, but then I thought that his dad wanted Christian out, and I'm like, I was a bit confused by it all. Well, it, it sounds like... Jos Verstappen and the Verstappen family are quite in bed with the Austrian division of Red Bull, so Red Bull GmbH. Right. But... Um, Christian Horner is in bed with the people who have a 51% stake of Red Bull, which is some Taiwanese family who yeah. have overall control. But you know, you know why Christian isn't liked by the Austrians, don't you? Because no, when Mr. Red Bull died, Christian tried to do a management buyout. Turned oh, up when with... um, uh... oh, okay, and when. I don't think so. So he burned his bridges then. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So is it is it extremely but, likely that this girl was put up to doing? I'm not saying that Christian Horner didn't do what he did, but do you think he was, she was put up to make the complaint? I, I don't know. I mean. I mean. <sighs> It's interesting they got an external lawyer involved or a barrister involved to look at all the evidence, and they still didn't find enough evidence to yeah. do anything yeah. about it. What you've got to remember there is it's an ex external barrister hired by Red Bull. Yeah, but who probably wants to get rid of so, Christian Horner? Yeah, but was it just a PR stunt? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It just seems really convenient timing, doesn't it, for the start of the season? Hmm. That's what I always found funny. Yeah. And a lot of the team, of the team principals were like, yeah, yeah, it's going to get sorted and all this. And a lot of the team principals obviously don't like Red Bull and they don't like Christian Horner. But you can't really fault his success in that team. No, you might not I'm... like the guy, but no. the way he's managed it, it works for Red Bull. You know full well that every team principal, just like Christian would, if the shoe was on the other foot. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not saying what? they wouldn't, but they're going oh no Christian must be guilty let's get rid of him because it makes their opponent weaker oh yeah yeah and at the end of the day whatever anybody says if you've got if you've got shit management at the top of the team you're still going to have shit you're going to have shit results yeah don't matter what you say you might not like the guy but he, he's done a good job hmm I mean um, I think sorry. if Christian got sacked tomorrow and um, they still had Max driving the car do you really think they would struggle? Not this season no I don't no. think they would Who's their, so des who's their designer? Is it Newey? Is Newey their designer? Adrian Newey but it depends See yeah, that's, that's where you win 
Yeah, but you have to have the right management to give the designers the free the free roam, the free the free will to do whatever they want to do. And Adrian Newey does things in a certain way, doesn't he? That a lot of teams wouldn't allow. If if Christian gets the sack, and that means Newey and or Max end up going, that's where Red Bull suffer. I think it, not not this season. If you take out them. I bet you halfway yeah. through the season, they'll suffer. Uh, I reckon. I reckon if there was, if Max was to leave, they would suffer. And as much as I don't like Max, and GM knows just how much I don't like Max. Um, <laughs> so I'll tell you, the- I, I'm the I'm the same. But you've got to remember, a lot of the spin that you see comes from media, who just want a story. Yeah, Netflix. So, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. So, but so what I'll tell you is that um, some friends of mine, their son was racing in F three for Red Bull, and mm-hmm. um, Max used to they used to they had got, the, Max used to run the simulator with a lot of the like cadets and the up and coming things, and he used to do simulator training with them all, and they said he is like an unbelievably nice guy. And the difference between what you see him at a race meeting and what he says and what he does at race meetings to how he is in real life, it's like chalk and cheese. I think... I, I, it's not that I don't think he's a nice guy, because I, I think you can see that he likes to have a laugh and he... Um, he, he does have a good side to him, don't get me wrong. But as soon as he's in a car... He's ruthless, and it doesn't matter what the opponent is, what's going on. It doesn't matter the condition. He is. It's either he gets the overtake or he dies. You know. Well, you show uh, me a top flight racer who isn't like that. Yeah. That's exactly what Senna was like. And but I think have an argument in a minute. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think he takes it too far. Um, I, d- I, 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 I disagree, think... so I, I, I think he should be as ruthless as they need to be as long as they're not putting I safety mean, no, no, how, how many, how many, fine, you know. how many people criticise Senna? Senna was without doubt one of the best racers ever. And yeah. he, he went to, now was it Berger or was it Prost? I can't remember. And basically said to him, he said, he said, if you beat me to the first corner, I'm taking you out and I win the championship. Yeah, and that person beat him to the corner, and he just t-boned them, and he won the championship. It was it was Prost, wasn't it? Was it Prost? I thought it was Prost. Yeah, and Stena thought that he was divinely guided to winning races. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there's other nutters that have been in F1. I just think there are too many times when Verstappen's taken it too far. Hmm. I mean, I'll, I, I will hundred percent. The whole thing, the, road, I think. the whole thing that happened with Hamilton in that last race that year, when everyone was allowed to overtake the safety car, like yeah. that should never have happened, and Hamilton should have won the series, right? Yeah, it, it oh, have it should have. It, sh- it shouldn't have happened. No, we'll, we'll, and we'll, put it, we'll put it this way. So, <laughs> so I was with Pugsley that day. Yeah. Yeah. With me, you, Pugsley, and uh, Pugsley's brother-in-law, and did it nearly come to fisticuffs? Uh, I mean, you may have wound somebody else up in the room quite significantly, but that someone else in the room really does get wound up very easily. It was uh, quite comical. But no, I, I just, I quite rightly said that is fucking ridiculous because um it, it, it was it was ridiculous yeah, absolutely it was it was against the rules it was out of any kind of thing that they'd ever done at any other point during the season and when it mattered most they fucked up um, yeah they changed they changed something they wanted to change to make better tv yeah. no no so, I'm not so disagreeing with i'll that. tell you what i think but i don't this is what I think on this is that there is something with the FIA and Ferrari and 
Yeah, but they the didn't throw in national assistance. Yeah, and I don't. Th I think there's something at play to prevent anyone beating Michael Schumacher's record. So nice. I don't think he had anything to do with Verstappen, anything to do with Red Bull, or anything against McLaren. It was just that Hamilton was in a position where he was going to take the lead on on a drivers' championships, and that would have because he's he's equaled now, hasn't he, with Schumacher? And I think there's something at play yeah. to protect that record. Jean Todd put something in contracts away. You mean? I, I absolutely. I mean, I mean, Ferrari used to get. A payment for being Ferrari and turning up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Right. I mean, that is the, the most yeah. ridiculous thing I've ever come across. I've ever heard in a sport. Just because they're a team, and oh, we're going to give you a load of money from the organisers of the event. That's just mental. Do you think it's now convenient that Hamilton will be in a red suit when he has the next opportunity to maybe win a championship? Yeah. Then, conspiracy theorists will be yeah. frothing at the mouth. I yeah. I don't think Hamilton has got another championship in him. I don't think so either. I think if he goes to Ferrari and has a bad car, he he he's checked out. He's already checked out a Mercedes after today. You could sell. I mean, and I, th I think it'll be I, the same I, with Ferrari. The same. I'll, I'll, have, I'll, have, the same, I'll have the same. I'll have the same mental situation. I feel the same about Hamilton as I do about Verstappen. The guy is an incredibly nice guy, but he wants to win. I, I'm, his fashion sense is an absolute idiot. I mean, I don't get that at all. But each their own. It's very subjective. But like, he's another one who, really nice guy, off the track. Yeah, and I think he always checked out if the car isn't there. If there's any of the. If there's any sniff of the car being improved mid-season, suddenly you'll watch him. He'll bounce back and he'll be destroying George Russell. But whilst the car's shit, he'll sit back and go, I'm not interested. I'm not going to win, yeah, so I'm not fussed about fifth. That's not the best, though, is it? Because if you look at someone like George... I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit on the, hmm. on the fence about George Russell at times. Hmm. But pick Alex Albon. He's done the best he possibly can at Williams, <laughs> and he, yeah. he he constantly. I know he's put it in the wall this week, and then made his teammate not have a car. But hey, that's Williams's idea of building a car with Excel. Okay, mm -hmm. their parts system is not very good, but hey, yeah, I but just all... think you've got some you've no, right. you've got some better drivers, not better drivers. You've got some new drivers that need to come into the sport and have a seat. So. Mm -hmm. Vettel leaving was good. I think Alonso needs to go. I like Alonso. I think he's a fantastic driver. Still got it. But they need to free up seats for new people. Look at, was it Bergman last weekend or the weekend before at Ferrari? Yeah. Was... Took over from Sainz. First time in an F1 car. No, not first time, but first time in a Ferrari. Cause he did Haas last year, didn't he, for a bit. And he smashed it. Yeah. But he's not going to get into F1 anytime soon, is he, Paul lad? Well... What amazed me with that is that he only had, was it only FP3? Yes. And then qualifying? So, yeah, and he'd driven, he'd driven a Haas before that. Not yeah. really a comparison, that, is it? No, but on that track, yeah. in that car, that only have an hour's worth of practice, and then was it P11 in qualifying? And then... E 10, wasn't it? Oh, I just rolled my, I just rolled my Marston trailer. Didn't get top ten. I think it was eleventh or something like oh. that. Um, and then, you know, scoring good points on your debut. I mean, the funny thing is, he might end up outpointing three or four um, drivers in the championship that are there, there for the whole season. Okay. So, just going to my comments, so I think Peter had said, do you think if the situation would repeat itself, would they do the same? So I'm assuming that's the whole thing about um, so I protecting think, Schumacher's I think... record. And I genuinely think they would. I think there's something... It's a bit of a thing with, if you put Hamilton, who's the person most... Well, maybe maybe Verstappen is now, uh, to beat Schumacher's record, and he's in a Ferrari. It's a bit of like a two immovable forces isn't it coming together and which one's going to win 
So I don't know about that one. How, how do you think that would play out if if, she, if Hamilton was going to win another championship? What do you think would happen if he was in a Ferrari? Do you think they would let it go? It, yeah, they'd allow it. You think? 100%. I, I don't think Ferrari they would. international assistance is still no. there. I, yeah, but I think it's. I think there's more favouritism now for Schumacher. I think they would rather see Schumacher <sighs> hold on to that <laughs> record just because he's like clinically dead and they don't want to like yeah, destroy yeah. it. I mean, uh, there might be oh. um, romanticism about it maybe but mm. something tells me if Ferrari had the ability to um, break a record and have another world championship like that uh, the FIA and Ferrari would make it happen. Mm, I don't know. It's an interesting one, though. What I think would be interesting is if um, if the whole Horner thing does explode. If, if Newey wants to find somewhere else to go, Newey and Ferrari yeah. and Hamilton would be insane, wouldn't it? It would. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, annoying. I've just driven the tractor back. And there's two more fertilising contracts popped up from my side of the map. Alright. <coughs> I mean, I would love to see Newey go back to Williams. Oh, yeah. Well, I, don't know, I don't know if he'd work very well with Pat Fry. Hmm. I think James Vowles is the right person at Williams, personally. Yeah. Um, he's a very good engineer. He's a very... He's a very tactical person. He's chief chief tactician, wasn't he, at Mercedes? So when he when he left, Mercedes decided to go a little bit on the safe side, didn't they? Yeah, he's a, a lot straight. Of stuff. He's an intelligent guy, though. I think <laughs> as well. I don't think you would ever get. <laughs> so Peter calls him Crimelton, but I don't think you'd ever get Hamilton yeah. and Max in the same team. No, no chance. That would be that would be volcanic. That would be. A I mean, it, they, you again. wouldn't be able to write a contract for it. It'd be good TV, though, wouldn't it? No, they, they could laugh around with because there the, the, there is like the contracts are always that, you know, the lead driver gets the. Yeah. So they you would, would never get them in the same team. I don't think Leclerc and Hamilton will play nice. I, I honestly think Leclerc will do everything he possibly can to show Hamilton up because Leclerc, I think, for qualifying at times, I think he's a faster driver. He t he can't always put it together in a race though, but that's not always can his I, fault. Does anyone else, when they hear Charles Leclerc, what do they all think of? Does nobody go? Leclerc. It, it is I, Leclerc. <laughs> does nobody? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but think God. of that every time. The problem is, though, this, uh, for some reason, our uh, our farming simulator has turned into a Ferrari simulator. Formula, uh, one. Formula One simulator. Yeah. Should we go now, back if on topic? Play Formula One. That's fine. We can do that. Um, I've got Formula One 2023 and 2024. <laughs> so Bubblefish says, Hammond will kneel for Verstappen if they're in the same team. Yeah, I'm sure he would take the knee, but. Um, Mm. Oh, careful. <laughs> but yeah, there's not a chance you would get those two in the same team. Not a chance. Oh, 21. Oh, there now. I don't think anybody uh, them two in the same team because they just destroy teammates. Yeah. So with those two, with those two together, it would just be carnage. Yeah, no, nobody wants the repair costs where they're <laughs> crashing into each other. Because yeah, you they do. You, you want the repair costs of crashed a Maldon, crashed a Maldon Ar Nardo and Mazda <laughs> Spin. I mean, that's all you need, them two in a team. It would be superb, wouldn't it? They, they would, though, wouldn't they? They would just... They would collide at the first corner of every single race. Well, they just torpedo a bit like um, Kvyat, which is what he got named by Vettel, wasn't it? The torpedo. Yeah. Could they not do like? Wouldn't it be good to have like a veterans Formula One? 
what we're like Nigel Mansell. Yeah. The moustache. Yeah. <laughs> the moustache. He's back. Get like Villeneuve back in and Eddie Irving and people Jesus. like that. It'd be absolutely awesome. What Barrichello? Butter. Oh, Rubens Ooh. was brilliant. It'd be like a it'd be like a um, Braun GP again. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Pugsy would be having kittens right there. He'd love it. Oh mate. The the absolute best season of all time. Isn't there Sorry. um isn't there the a video where they did like a touring car with Formula One drivers? I'm sure they did a, a like a one off race or a one off series where they had Formula One drivers doing touring cars and it was absolute carnage. Like yeah, but BTCC in the 1990s. Oh, it was class. Right? It was amazing. You had the, you had the Renault Megane, oh, you had the Nissan Primera, you had the Halfords Pro Drive Mondeo, you had the Volvo 850R, the tank. The estate, Nothing yeah. Nothing was going through that Volvo, was it? I mean, it was superb. BTCC was dodgy cars with the rest of us. Oh, it was just I brilliant. I, I've, I've watched a few like of the old videos like on YouTube, and honestly, the racing was so good. Tarquini, he was, he was oh. insane. He really up for seventy-five. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we've got Del the gamer on my uh, in my chat. Evening Hello, Del. Del. How, are How are you doing? Good to How see things? you. Hope you're okay, buddy. Uh, GM, do you need any other job doing? I've finished the rolling. Uh, no, I've got this field to. Do 13 on, and they've got one more field, and then we're done. So I don't know how Mount's getting on with his. Um, so I'm just finishing off a sewing contract, and I've got to I've got to quickly buzz around two fertilising contracts, and then I'm good to go. I thought, Alan, have you nearly finished the rolling? Well, I did. I've done the rolling. I've just taken a fertilising contract. Oh, you've it's took one. Eight. Yeah. All right. Good. It's a more fertiliser. Yeah. No problem. So we'll nearly be finished that. Well, really, no problems. I'm glad you're good, Del, and uh, you're keeping uh, keeping in contact with your brother and bits and bobs, buddy. So it's all good. Hopefully, your uh, FS videos are going well for you. Right, so that's what, that. Um, sewing completed. What would you like to do, Pugsley? Uh, yeah, I was just having a look on the map to see what was needed, really. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do actually. I think we're nearly there. I mean, we, I think I don't think it's gonna be too long before me and Mount call it a night anyway. What time is it? it must be quarter past ten. Uh, is it? Twenty-two oh three, bud. So we're not doing too bad. Oh, is Two it? hours. Oh yeah, of course. So far yeah. on the stream. It's all right. Yeah, I started the stream fifteen minutes early, didn't I? That's right. Yeah. So yes, I mean, me. we'll knock these out and then I just say I, I need to I need to get to bed. I've got to be up at five. So. Yeah, that's fine. I, mean, I think we're about done, aren't we, really? Because we're into... Yeah. We've got some good things done. Uh, we've got some good money back in the bank. Well, I have, anyway. I'm mm -hmm. you're back up to full, I'm over 40 grand again. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm at... Uh, what am I at? 21, so... You bought another tractor, didn't you? I bought another tractor, yeah. I was at 71 at one point. Yeah, But I've got three oh. fertilising contracts to go through, so... That's um, all right. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to... Where's this tractor going? With my subsoiler. He's, in, he's coming um, into my yard. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, so Dell's asking... Uh, yeah. What the hell? What are you doing? Where are you going, you nutter? He's subsoiling oh, me grass. Del, 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 the game is in both streams. So I appreciate yeah. it, buddy. Thank you. He started subsoiling me grass. Absolute twonk. Oh. <laughs> Why is he subsoiling so me grass? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what? Oh. What have you set him doing? I, he, was, he was on course play doing... Oh. Uh, I don't I don't know why it's done that. Let's have a look at the course play. Was he subsoiling the top of the field? But he decided to go down to oh. the bottom. It's doing the whole field. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Did it's I not have... It's just a bomb bit. I had a custom... Oh, okay. It maybe hasn't... Mm. Right. Okay, would you like to put some more sugar beet uh, back in Okay. There? Well, well, let's just park yeah. this, this one for now. Um, I'll quickly... 
I'll tell you what, I'll get jump in the cedar and I'll run over those bits there and put some grass back in. I know it won't be rolled, but whatever. Yeah, that's a fair point, Dell the Gamer. Um, I know um, Malk still doesn't have any sheds. No, no, I think he's talking about Corpy, isn't he? When the shed's being built on Corpy, he said. Or mine. Um, not yet, not yet. No. We've, we've got too much, we've got too many other interesting things coming out. They've, they've, you know, we've, we've, we've recorded three, two weeks in advance anyway, so yeah. there's some big things coming in the next couple of episodes. So we are, we are getting close to putting sheds in at some point, but not quite yet. They've, uh, okay, let's go to that field. I've got one more fertilizer coming up to do so. No, you've got any sheds on your no, well, yeah, you've got any sheds on your farm yet, and we've got any in Corpy yet, but we'll get some on Corpy eventually. Yeah, I mean, you need to put money into doing other stuff on Corpy first. Priority here is to get. Um, I need to get another field. So I've got um, my farm's building up. I've got quite a bit of kit now. I've got um, three tractors now, and. Pretty much everything I need, apart from a roller. I haven't got a roller. That's the only other thing that I need to get. Yeah, about sounds me, I think. Oh, nearly, nearly went in. Nearly went swimming. Way that be one nil to you then. Yeah. Thanks, Dell the gamer. Appreciate your pressing like, buddy. Yeah, thank uh, you, Dell. Massively Del. appreciate. Oh, big seven. Ooh, quite big. Oh, good day then. That's the sugar beet filled up. Thank you. Very welcome. Let's put cruise control on. Do you want to check how the workers doing on the subsoil and I'm going to carry on leaving them there I think sure thing thank you now I'm just wondering I we got that. have I missed still got two hours left. some bits somewhere just here I think all good though getting there I think yeah we've got it all with my Cocklin jockey. Hey, right, same as me. It's a good drill, that is. Yeah, it is. Eh? I think I think I'm going to have to repair this Valtra at some point, though. It's uh, it's struggling a little bit. And I'll probably be able to bail some of our boundaries again in the next episode. No, I'm going to hear that yet. Uh, I've got a bail. I just haven't got. There we go. I've got a thingy. Oh, we'll need to pay a thousand pound into the thingy in a minute, actually, don't I? Yeah, don't forget that. Control. Don't forget to do that. So, um, let me get into flight mode and we'll go and have a look at how things are. I'm sorry to hear that, Del the Gamer. Hopefully you um, get yourself sorted out soon, buddy, and uh, get yourself back on a path of being feeling a bit better in yourself. You're going for more fertiliser, Alan? Yes, I have. I thought I'd have enough for the two, but I didn't. Do you want me to buy them? I'll get them bought. Yeah, I've got an hour and ten minutes left of subsoiling, buddy. Okay, okay that's two, not There's two bags uh, there. How much sugar beet cut is still left in the Flegel trailer at the BGA? There's, uh, <coughs> I think, about two litres. Yeah. Big, big old boundary bailing bonanza, that's right, bubble fish. Yeah, hopefully you get um, I got some peace in the house, Peter. Very nice for you. Uh, well, uh, hopefully it, you do get yourself sorted out for FarmCon Dell the Gamer, buddy. And uh, it all goes, goes well. So I know you've uh, said at Lama you were looking forward to FarmCon. So hopefully you get yourself sorted out, mate. Mm, not sure if I have the grass. Maybe next month the grass will be all right to do. Uh, I have my first grass next month, I think, as well. 
Oh, go back. Let's knock that all that junk off. Uh, that one. How many more? How much more fertilizing you got to do, Mal? Um, a bit. A bit. So we've got we've nearly finished. We've got two contracts to do, but I think twenty seven, twenty eight. I think I don't think they're big fields. So, I don't think I'll be at. Uh, I won't be at Foncom this year. Tell the game, everybody know. I won't have a chance to get time off and get it sorted, mate. Sorry. So I might do another year. Me and Pugsy said we'd probably do it. Uh, we do it one year together, I think. So that's good. I think they'll ever do it at New Holland in the UK. Well, Mazeldon? Is it Mazeldon? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's somewhere like that, isn't it? No, they'll do it in Germany, won't they? Because of it's a German company, into it, Giants? Huh? Oh, Peter said but the distraction has had to work until 2200 and needs to start again at 6 tomorrow, so Peter's obviously now back in the room. <laughs> I am. Um, are you at Agritechnica next year, Pugsy? Uh, I am contractually obliged to be there next year. Yes. Are you going? I think I think Dell. Uh, that's part of being a gamer, be. being overweight. I don't think there's. Uh, <laughs> I think that comes with the territory. But yeah, not a bad thing to lose some weight. I need to listen to my own advice, I think. Carnivore diet, hey, that's what you want to do. That's going to be the best diet ever. Where's cereals this year, Pugsley? Oh, now you're asking. Um, I do know, because I'm going. Have you done this one now? Oh, yeah, you've done that. So I think the, I think this last one, Alan, I think you can just run down again. both fields because they're top and bottom of each other, aren't they? As Alan, yeah, I didn't want to uh, take the really big one. Because you did it again. Uh, well, is, there, is there another one? I, must admit, I did, did enjoy cereals last year. Oh, my God, please. It's a nice winter show. Winter, summer. The one above it, thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that one. Uh, what was one you were about? So the, the, we've got two more fertilising contracts to do to field twenty-seven, twenty-eight. But they're like next to each other, so you could literally just start at the top of one and go straight. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go get some more uh, fertiliser. We can do those if you want. Yeah. Okay. It, um, I've just had a look, buddy. It's kind of. Between. I'm going to check on the flower production, or bread production, I should say. Or is it Stevenage? Yeah, that's oh, far away on. We're not too bad then. No. So, four pallets there. Uh, the greenhouses, are they full or not? Not quite. Probably need to move some stuff eventually, though. Next episode. Right, so. That is that contract done. That's all our contracts done on our side. All oh, right. Back um, to have fifty-six you, grand. Have you got a? Well, uh, just trying to think if you wanted to do. No, I'll let Alan do it. It'd be all right. I was going to see if he wanted to do one of my fertilizing contracts for me. Me? Yeah, just speed it up a bit. Uh, I'll let Alan do it, mate. I've got to drive back anyway and mess about and take his tracks back as well. I think me and Pugsy are about done. We've got Sugar Beet going in. Uh, yeah, pretty good the, place, the, actually, I think. The, you know? <coughs> do you think we should get some more equipment for the contract farm, seeing as it's got 60-something thousand in it? Um, oh, it's only got 50,000. I thought it had more than that. Yeah. I need, to put, I need to put a thousand pound in that, actually. Um, are you driving around in a tractor, Pugsy? Uh, I'm just shifting some flour in the John Deere. Thank you. That's a good idea. So I'm going to... We need to buy a saw sample at some point. Have you not got one? No, I've been buying field information, which is an expensive way of doing it. Mm. As we learned on Corpy.
and if the map's not put together right, causes lots and lots of issues. Does. I was going to do that, um, because obviously I haven't played a lot with uh, PF before. Is is the little sampler the cheapest way of getting the field info? Yeah. Uh, as you get bigger fields, yes. And how much? How much? The uh, sampler. Seventeen grand for the soil sampler. Okay, so you only need like a few fields to pay for that then. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, it's a hundred quid per sample, isn't it? So. Yeah. You kind of have to factor that into it, but yeah, it's ultimately it's quicker just to. Uh, cheaper to get the soil sampler. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't. Well, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Nice to see you back in my chat, apparently. Um, what else? What other rules can it be? Um, so he tells saying rules of a game are be overweight, have a messy room. Any others? Um. Oh, don't have a messy room. No. Mm. No. No. Clean, don't. clean room, clean house. Even with kids. Oh yeah, we'll have we'll have this contract done in no time. So I think just keep just keep going to the next field straight through. Yeah, I think I'm on the wrong side because this is a bit wonky this edge. So Don't worry, we'll straighten it. It'll get straightened. It up. might just it might be fifty for sampling actually, Peter. I'm not sure. No, it's it's a hundred for sampling. I'm sure it is. Well, it is. It was on Corby. Okay. Well, yeah, but that map. Oh, unless it changes. To to mm, unless it changes with the economy. Hey, I wonder if it changes with the economy uh, you use. Yeah, that makes sense. If you use an easy economy, it might be 50. If you use hard, it might be 150. I don't know. Uh, true. Like, Dollar Gamer says his place is a bit of a tip. Well, you know, <laughs> each their own, mate. I can't generally give in a tip myself, but I usually do most of the tidying up anyway, so. Mm. Oh. I generally, I generally end up with like, I've got um, an end of my kitchen worktop that, that ends up with a heap of junk on it, and then like every week or something, I'll be, oh right, I need to tidy this up. But uh, you, you, you look like you're riding a broomstick in front of me. Nice. Who, who me? It's Harry Potter. Yeah, Halloween. you're you're, you're pushing in the air above me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're sat on a broomstick. Well, Have you got your roof fixed yet, Mal? Yes, it got fixed uh, on Tuesday, I think. Yeah. You've got no leaky pans anywhere, no leaky roof and no water pans No, anywhere. no. I, I had some mushrooms growing in the carpet, actually. That was no a bit weird. No way. Honestly, yeah. There was like some, uh, well, uh, some kind of fungus. Have you had that taken out then as part of the insurance and new carpet put down? Uh, not yet. I need to get all the plaster work done inside next, so... Um, that's but like I said with the insurance company, it says we'll get the we'll get the outside watertight, and then I'll look at doing the inside, and they're like, yeah, that's fine. So, um, but what's weird is I think I think Tuesday they did it. So I was I was it Monday they did it. It was either Monday or Tuesday, and on Tuesday uh, the next morning, like half past six, I sent the receipt into the insurance company, and then about two o'clock that day, I got an email off the girl I've been dealing with insurance saying, um. I'm just just checking up on this claim. What state it in? I'm thinking, it's that's like a hell of a coincidence that I send an email in, and then she asks that, and I, so I just says, "Well, I've just sent you an email this morning. The work was done yesterday." I'm like, oh, that kind of rubbish. Um, and I recopied the quote. I resent the quote in it. Sorry, the invoice for it. And then I haven't heard out since. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. so I don't know what's going on, but. But the th um, what the radiator in that room that started to this where I think water must have been dripping on it one side and it's all like started to rust. So oh, I basically yeah. asked her if I could then also get um, a claiming for a new radiator. So that's a, that's a lot of flour. Um, well, an awful lot. Of hopefully, flour. But hopefully, Dale, when you get yourself sorted out, buddy, you'll uh, find yourself not so exhausted, so you don't have to sleep so long. So you sound like you're sleeping like a cat 15 hours a day. Um, Peter's asked, did the mushrooms uh, tasted well? So I'm guessing, did you taste the well, mushrooms? I, th I don't know what I, I mean. With it magic. They, they look like something that grows on a tree. They're, like, they're, not like, they're not like a typical button mushroom type, sort of classic mushroom shape. It's like the sort, you know, you get that stuff that like grows on a tree. It's like a thin sort of petal. 
type of thing. It looks like that. Oh, it looked yeah. like that. I got rid of them. Oh, so. not good. No, they look. Well, apparently, uh, Dell has a. Apparently, Dell's got a gift for me. Apparently, what's that then, buddy? A gift. Apparently, yeah. He's just oh, a gift. gift. I, thought, I, I, I didn't know if you meant a gift or a or a gift. A gift, not a gift. No, oh, a gift. okay. There we go. Um, do you need more seed, uh, more fertilizer? Well, yeah, more fertilizer. Oh, jeez. Um, I'll I'll buy you a couple of bags then. Yeah, oh, apparently I'm I'm in first place because I've got sheds on this map. Oh yeah. Well, I had sheds. It's just that I I did the test on what happens when you sell a shed, and we Very found true. out that I'm it sells really everything, true. all your sheds. Have you not got any soybeans, Malk? Yeah. I'm going to say, I thought you would have, because you should have the same amount as me. I have got uh, 81,300 8, litres. 81,000, I've got... What have I got? 80, 85,407. Yeah, and I've got 10,000 corn and 11,000 wheat. I should really be putting that wheat into the, into the grain mill, shouldn't I? You should really, yeah. Let me go and do that now. I don't know where. I still can't work out where the wheat came from. I'm sure you got that wheat from a contract left over. Did I? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Let's go and fire it into the grain mill. Get some more flour into my bakery. It's always good to have a bit of a laugh. Tell the gamer, mate. Life's too serious not to have a laugh. That's why me and Malk enjoy the Corpy series. We ought to have a good laugh when we record. Because we do, obviously, when we're doing time lapses and junk cuts and stuff, there's a lot of footage that we leave out. <laughs> we have to. Because the episodes will be about four hours long. It wouldn't take too long from getting you uploaded to YouTube for Malk, poor bloke. I know. I think the shortest we've recorded is probably 48, 48 minutes maybe and that ends up being like a 20 something minute episode anyway doesn't it something like that yeah and then we didn't we do one that was it was over two hours one wasn't it recording yeah two hours 230 yeah Ooh, that was a it was huge that was well. a big old file <laughs> yeah it was it took perhaps each other in ages i think that was one of the lot was that the logging episode No, I can't uh, yeah, remember. I think yeah, no, the, the the login episode was two hours forty, yeah. two hours thirty, two hours forty, but we cut it so massively down to just us running back and forth to the shop, didn't we? Yeah, it made more sense for us. No, Peter says if it was two hours forty-five, we'd still watch it. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. Um... <laughs> Dell Del saying, um, "What were you doing in your shed on carpet, jumping up and down? I was doing star jumps, burpees, and that." Well, you're doing, uh, you're doing the Malkivator. Yeah, that was, the Malkivator, that was Mr. Malkivator, yeah. There's probably a lot of people in this chat who have absolutely no idea who Mr. Motivator is. But, I do. Uh, he used to be on GMTV, didn't he, or whatever it yeah. was. Derek, somehow, I think his name is. He is, yeah. Nah, I'd rather not do a 12 hour stream, but fair point. Um, right. Um, right, that's the last pallet to move, bud, because then there's another one. Do we, uh, so, uh, job. What, what about when um, the next series or the next iteration of this game comes out? Should we do a 12 hour C live stream on it? <laughs> no, because I'd be seeing my little, I'd be seeing the little one going to bed and getting up in the morning. Uh. Shut off. Kill me. It's all right. We'll get Pugsley to give her more work, and then uh, she won't know. No problem. <laughs> She'll just smash through the work and ask for more. That's all she does when she goes to work. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? I think she enjoys not having to uh, look after the little one and get out of the house. 
and obviously work with um, amazing people that like to sing Tenacious D tribute in the office <laughs> when as it comes I, on the radio. As I say, only the um, the uh, really sensible directors do that. Did Kobe even do it? Uh, yep. Wow. Impressive. It was, it was only me and Toby. And everybody was looking over going, what the hell's going on with them two? I think it was mental breakdown day. I'm sure the other half wasn't like that because it used to be on a a CD that I used to have in the car quite often. That and the other two awesome Tenacious D songs. Uh, Wonder Boy and Something Her Wonder Gently. Boy. I'm in fact, that's not right. Hey, you must be about finished now, Alan. One tiny little strip to do. I think so. I want to go to bed in a minute. There we go. We're done. Let me collect them. Hey. <laughs> How much money have you got now? Oh, uh, 32,000. Yeah. Still got. Oh, I'll tell you what I need to do. Pay a thousand pound into the contracting company. Yes. Don't forget. I do. Are we are we heading back to the uh back to the farm? Uh back to the centre. I am, yes. Wait you don't well, you don't need to. I'm gonna put a save in on the game in a minute when we're done. But I'm gonna say that for this evening's stream I am about done. But yeah. thank you everybody for watching and thank you to yeah, it's been good. and also to Alan for joining us and obviously for Peter and Del the Gamer and Mark Cotty and uh, Massey um, 8480 and a few other people in either side that have been joining us all evening. So we appreciate it. And I think the next live stream will be Finnage Friday next week. It will. Which obviously then Good Friday. Uh, finish is it? Should be out next week, hopefully. Um, look out for a video and a post on the Green Man uh, YouTube channel for that. But, okay. Uh, thank everybody for watching. Yeah. And thank we you for everyone. See you again soon. See you later. That's half for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.